think I'm about to say something stupid, y'all. <laughs> your boy OG and this is the Illogical Podcast. We're on episode four right now, right? Four. four. Yep. I want my man Jinya, Leon Hart is in the back, Thrasher TZ, <laughs> Thrasher TZ, Blue Flame Media, and uh, you want to introduce our special mm -hmm. guest? Yeah, man, today we got a, um, we got a legend in the building, man, to be real with you, man. We got a, um, we got a legend in the building, and really what, uh, what brought this whole thing together is, you know, I saw a conversation online where it was more so like, I felt like people were talking about Richmond legends, okay. and you know, a lot of people had a lot to say, so I don't think it's fair that people got a lot to say and then he don't get his turn to respond back, so uh, we, we got to talking on the last podcast about yep. Richmond legends, uh, Rum came up and all that, yep. and I told him, I said in, I said in uh, the podcast, that episode, I was like, yo, Rum got to come, he got to... Uh, Talk for himself and, too, and, and you made it happen. Too. I tried to, man. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel yeah. like it was it was appropriate. It, it was only appropriate. Yes, Everybody got so much to say and want to talk. Might as well have a man on here to speak for himself and whatever. So, um, yeah, we got a special guest, Red Rum, Rum, Red Dummy, um, a legend. Uh, you guys speak for yourself, brother. Uh, first thing I want to ask you, though. Um, Hold on, let him introduce himself and what he's got going on, and then go ahead and ask him. Good. Oh yeah, you know, man, this Red Rum, man, Red Dummy. Whatever y'all want to call me, man, switch man. Been doing this for a minute, putting it down, still putting it down, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of the few that get better as time go on, especially with the rap shit, because, you know, nigga used to be at his prime when he was a little youngin'. As you get older, you run out of shit to talk about, but, you know, <laughs> that's it's about growth, though, you know what I'm saying? I come from the streets for real, you know what I'm saying? So. At the end of the day, my transition was crazy. You feel me? Like, just from being on the corner every day to being on tour with the biggest names that you could ever think of. You feel me? How, how was that for you, bro? Like, just your grind from when you were starting, like, back in the day, you, like, you was one of the first, I ain't say one of the first ones, but one of the first ones that I seen coming up that was posting up, uh, actually, actually out there doing hard work. Like now like it's more streaming. Like, yeah, yeah. Like now it's more like CDs in you fall hand. back and yeah, just yeah. post it on the internet. Yeah. You don't really do that. I mean, but How's that? at the end of the day, if I ain't do that, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in right now. I agree, because you, you did yeah. it at a, ample, uh, a time where it was like not many people were doing it, and the people that were doing it were taken like seriously. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like nowadays, that you could just media. throw up a link, and anybody is a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back then, it really showed like yeah. what was your work. But at? it don't stick though. It don't. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's, a difference, it's a difference between when you the see truth me out. Yeah. in a fad. You feel me? Fast. Like it, it's it's like with I'm not gonna say each generation, but every year is some new. You feel me? From the youngins' eyes, mm -hmm. yeah, you feel me. But at the end of the day, it's just about staying true to your craft, so that way you can build and get better. You okay. feel me? Cause if you keep on switching, cause time switching, mm -hmm. then that means you ain't true to you. That's how I feel. I mean, you gotta make your. I, I understand making your beats and stuff sound more up to par and stuff, but you still should be able to deliver and stick with a youngin. Mm -hmm. It don't matter about age to me. I think yeah, good music is good music. Yeah, timeless. All right, so I want I just I want to get right to this shit for real quick. Okay, so you know you started a whole debate <laughs> in Richmond over who was the best in in Virginia. You know what I'm saying? It, it started, man. It was on purpose, man. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not even saying that it wasn't. I think I think if it, if it was, I think it's genius. I think if it wasn't, the way that you used it afterwards was actually genius. It was. Yeah. It actually impressed me more um, with your hustle than I was beforehand. I'm gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? I th I I like how you work the situation into a real discussion. Um, and brought your name up. I do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like now, it's not. It's like so many people were posting about it. It's like if you don't know Red Rum 
or you know red dummy or whatever yo i'm gonna go look them up real quick and see what all yeah. this talk is about so i think it's smart i think that um i think you i don't think you're top three though man Oh, that's what's up. Man. Yeah, and, but and it's not, it's not. I don't think it's offensive because when top he's, three, what? What you saying? He said you said top three lyricists in VA, right? Yeah. And, okay. And that, and that, I ain't even say VA. Oh, you just said an RVA. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying in Virginia, like I'm okay. just saying not even to say say lyricists. I'm saying period. Oh, okay. When okay. It comes okay. To, okay. To, to okay. Well, the, fact, well and that's then, another, see, that's another discussion. Even and, even and the way in that Virginia. Got, yeah. Okay. Even in Virginia, when it comes down to making music, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, street level, independent. Yeah. Top three all day because yeah, there ain't almost. nobody out here who who put in. I ain't even gonna talk about the work. I'm gonna just talk about. Facts. People speak opinions all day. Yeah. That's what we here for right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. A bunch of people speaking opinions yeah. that don't even have a, a a a track record to even be in this debate. Do you have to be a, so you're saying like you you have to be a good rapper to judge other people that that are good at rap? No, going no, for no, okay. no. I'm just no. saying it straight up like this. I'm speaking facts. I'm not speaking opinions. I've done this several years. Bam, bam. Every year I come mm -hmm. up with a song that people sing. That's what I said. Facts. Okay, because I feel Facts. I feel that. I feel there, there's like, two things that you said right now. Cause I had a different uh, different opinion about time. you, but you said two things to me that are really important right now. You said the first thing, and this is I picked up this immediately. He said, I'm one of the few that get better with time. Like, so he that resonates with me because, like, yo, he's in a point where he's like, yo, I can still grow. I'm still growing and I'm still getting better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not, not that's that's me. If you you see my trail, yeah, like, more, sure. it's that's me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I felt that on a personal level. And then also, I do feel you when you say, um, like, there's certain people that have to put, like, you just got to put in a certain level of work to have a conversation with me about it. Let's just be real. I some do. people, there was, some people I, speaking I on the wrong name that. have no business speaking on his fucking name. Let's just be real. All right, look, I'm, I'm going to tell you like I, I don't agree with that, though. I but I, and this is why I don't agree. It's not because necessarily what they're saying is wrong or right. Yo, people speak on shit they shouldn't be speaking on all the time. We never call them. I right. just feel like. Also, as part of hip hop, if you're a fan or a rapper or any working there in any capacity, but you really can't you judge you, from from a from a locality spot. Cause right. I'm gonna just speak on. You don't really. You're not really judging a person music. You judging a person position, and you judging that they've been in the position for a certain mm -hmm. amount of time. And it don't even matter about your music right now. It's just about like this. I, I tell you like this. I probably one of the first people that uh, tell every artist. It don't matter how long you've been doing this, but when you first get on, bro, they gonna put an expiration date on you. You gotta reach a certain amount of success in this amount of time for them to call you successful. I agree. I agree. I think that the timelines put on artists sucks, yeah. man. It ma it makes it so that we drive ourselves crazy and we uh, have like unrealistic expectations but of what like real success but is. But people don't even know what success is. I know. Right. I agree. That's that's agree. the that's the difference between me and others. Like yeah. Like I come from Biden Avenue. Like you feel me? I'm from Biden Avenue, Brooklyn Park Boulevard. Lived in the worst parts of the city. You feel me? Like, yeah. You made oh, a red used to live off of Hazelhurst. I, I know. Yeah, that. yeah, like, yeah. That's why I grew up. I live on Ocean Drive right now. Like, mm -hmm. drive a brand new Benz. Like, live on the condo on the beach. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me, like, off of doing what I love. Like, yeah. Now, that's that's, 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 what I mean. that's, that's what important. I mean. like, that's some important. Some people, that's you know important. I'm not saying you can't have an opinion. All I'm saying is before you go talk so crazy. Look at what he's accomplished and look at what he's done the but whole time. But it's going to always be like that on the local level, though. Yeah, you mean outside of Richmond? I'm just saying, like, I'm just speaking, like, like this, like. You, what, what are you you're saying? What's going to be always be like that on the local level? You're going to have your worst opinions yep. about somebody from a local spot. Because uh, at the end you. of the day, yep. they do the same thing you do. That's yeah. what most rappers get killed at, locally. You feel yep, me? Yep, like, I agree with that. Um, so it's hard to ask somebody opinion. Mm -hmm. And they do what you do, and you don't work with them. That's true. So, 
Well, that's one thing I, I, I didn't like either, though. I don't, I don't, like, there's, like, people like Skills. There's uh, people like Nick. Um, Nicholas. Uh, hold, hold on. Yeah. Uh, it has I'm, different, I'm, different I'm, demographics. No, I do. But the, the, the thing is, I don't, I see them more involved with, like, the younger generation than I see you involved. That's a misconception, though. Yeah, I, hold on, hold on. I just said, I see. Yeah, from what I, but, I, but bro, but I see a lot. I, His I, demographic know what he does. It's not about knowing what they do. Yes, it is. That's the difference. If you bro. went to, if you went to James River High School, or you went to uh, no, TJ, bro. I'm telling all you, all these niggas at James not, River High School gonna be like, who's naming? They gonna, they gonna be a little spots. Spots. They're but different. It, they're all different types of rappers. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, bro. But what I'm saying to you, if you in a more urban, if you in, if you. If you if you at James River High School, I'm not talking about. Gonna know Nick I'm not Fury talking about just notoriety, bro. I'm talking about yo. I don't see him working with the younger artists. I haven't seen it. Like I've, I've seen, seen him push. I've seen the I've seen Nick use his platform to help artists like Concept um, and um, Anakin get to a higher level. So I've seen Michael do it. I've seen. So we gonna Matt take school. points away. Like I'm not listen, bro. I'm not trying to <laughs> di like di diss him, but at the end of the day, it's like yo. When I when I think about what makes you bigger than music and what's really important, these are things that are important to me. I'm not trying to like carry it, man. I just saying, yo, man. this is something I would like to see and more from him. For for real, obviously you don't know me. That's what I'm saying. So at the that's end of the day, okay, we we so, got a whole different discussion. You ever heard of Ed the Realist? Yeah, I love Ed. All right, then who you started off with? Okay, Before so cool. Yeah. All right, so look, I didn't know that. People get a that name story, and then that, that story and I'm trying to like, save you before you say it, because I'm like, yo, I know. All right, Dream so Mandela, that, I yeah. got LB, I got plenty of artists that I, I got trapped. So from, that's the stories from, I want to hear more. When when you talk about like, stuff I that, that you've done, I, I, I didn't hear you, because like, I, wa I watched you a lot. Young Money week. Young, like, come on, yeah, man, yeah, like, Young Money Young, that peanut butter jelly joint, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, that's probably that's, my favorite song by both of y'all. I but just love the, the vibe. At the end of, of the day, yeah. that's what I'm saying. You got a song with your man, right? Huh? You got a song with your man, right? Yeah, young yeah. man, what? I like did. Oh my yeah. goodness. I didn't all right, so see, but when you li listed all these accomplishments that you were going through this that week that y'all were, you know, it was heavy. I never seen you bring up these names, and that's more important to me. Because what is it to, to sit up there and brag on something? You it's not about that. It's like, bro, if, you, I, if it's when you're not. But I felt, I. Because it's not exactly why that. Because you did people it from take the heart that. People and, take and that for offense more than anything out no, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. I did this for so and so. I put a nigga on world stuff. I didn't, I didn't I say you had to do that. I did this. I, I would have simply this, said, like, it ain't I even like, about that. I'd have been. I rap more about being flipped on and motherfuckers turning on me shit. that I done you put in it, position. Shit. Yeah. shit, I done let motherfuckers know, like, you give a nigga enough game, he gonna use it against you. All his music mm. is like, basically shit, game. Bro. I mean, I like, like said that. If you listen like to his music, that. if you're an artist and you listen to his music, he giving you free game. I, I listen right. to his music. Um, um, he had a, You got a joint called Dog Food on your last project? Yeah, yeah, yeah I he, fuck with that. He got mad jokes yeah, on that. Yeah, that, that's, that, I fuck with that. The I like the joint, um, Tired. Like, you were speaking on, like, like you, a lot of your music, you just speak on motherfuckers doing, doing, doing not you wrong, but just doing good-hearted people wrong, people who got high morals and standards and try to look out, getting snaked. And I relate to yeah. a lot of that shit. I relate to a lot of that underdog shit and still fighting through the whatever you got to fight through and determine it. Like, you man, know what I'm saying? I just I, keep, I, I that's keep that why shit I embody that. I embody, embody that. that. You feel me? I embody that. I ain't one of these niggas that just run to the internet and tell my whole life and all that shit because it ain't even All right, so I got, I'm going to just no, tell you. No, hold on. What you saying? Coochie Key. That was, yo, I'm telling you, that bro, was the book. funniest shit you that did shit, that man. whole week. I don't, hey, yo, I'm not, yo, I'm saying what it, it was fucking hilarious, We could get to it, we could yo. start with some more other stuff, dude, like, speak on this man for that real. That shit was hilarious. That's, that's sad no, shit. That's I, cool. I, I'm cool with it. I'm whatever. Like, yeah. all that shit Well, you're not dropping started, that song, though? Like, even with Kooja Keith, dog, like, at the end of the day, bro, I, he started off with me. Like, all these niggas being my videos, all this shit. That's like, crazy. It's crazy, like. Everybody that I done had a fucking problem with has been cool with you at one point. Hell yeah. Do you, do you, do you, do you like, think it's always their fault? Charged, do you huh? think it's always their fault? Or do you accept some blame as well, too? Fuck no, I don't accept no blame <laughs> for no shit. For, for what? Okay. Right. What I'm am trying, I accepting for? Because at the end of the day, if you want something, you got to pay for that shit. Right. Okay. You feel right. me? Right. Yeah. I ain't never yeah. walked into a motherfucking Foot Locker and. Yo, this cost this. Man, what the fuck, man? We from the same city, man. I need that shit. Motherfuckers have weed and shit. I don't walk up on them. Yo, we from the same city, man. Get in the fucking sack. Man, come on, motherfucker. Right. No, 
Y'all trying to send me back to the motherfucking streets to sell drugs. I make money off of music. You fuck with me for my music. So that's what I say. I'm on the I'm same way. You we we just had this convo. Like, I'm going to sell you me. You came at me. I can see if I came at you like, yo, bro, we need to work. Yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And if it's like that, if you be like, yeah, hey, bro, I charge this amount. Fuck it. I got you. Because, Nick, I know how it is out here, bro. Yeah. Okay. If I like something, I, I'm going to... I always be on this side of the motherfucking shit. I'm okay. never the Aggressive. person who just, ah, uh, man, I, I got kids. I'm and that's chilling. What, okay. That's crazy. I'm doing me. Like, when, it, when stuff be happening, I always see it as like, yo, Ron be mad. How many times has this been? happened with Ron? Because this is the I first time that I'm like it. It seems like it's been a story. Like, it's always something like that's happened a few times. Like that, but you. every time it's like, Ron be mad his business doing them. I don't know inside shit, but from the outside, I'm like, man, Ron be doing this shit. Why people be, you know? Because you know, I'll, I'll be honest. You don't owe anybody anything. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't I don't disagree with the logic of that. I just think that in this culture it's important for people who are successful in the culture to help other people be successful. Shit, and if I, you're doing I mean, that, hey, if you're doing that and I didn't know about it, good for you cuz but I, that's things that is important to me when you tell your story. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to try to take nobody credit away from what they do. Yeah. Or what they done. It, you don't have to 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 acknowledge they not giving him credit. I he gotta fucking get these be the same people that won't say shit. Because everybody want to be bosses. Everybody want to be CEO, head of their own shit. It's all love, though. You feel me? Yeah, I agree. That's why I don't speak on shit. Because at the end of the day, that's more of like, yo, you trying to speak on, yo, why you even say that about the homie? Like, no, why would I do that shit? If I do that shit, I fuck with a nigga. Like, straight up, if I fuck with your music, I put my own behind to mm -hmm. push you. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. It yeah. ain't nothing more to be said. And, and I don't know no motherfucking bad out here giving up no motherfucking money to push nobody else. None of that shit. I agree. You feel I what agree. I'm saying? Like I think a lot of a lot of artists can relate to niggas that. Niggas just yeah. giving out verses. I done gave out a thousand verses. Yeah. You know what I mean? The niggas that got me on songs for free on some fucking homeboy shit. Okay. And we ain't You'll never hear the fucking song because niggas don't rap for real. They just. <laughs> I so why agree. he got to? Why he got to give out all these? Uh, why he got to speak on it? Why they ain't speaking on the looks he gave them? Like I, yo, I didn't. I, I, but see, they ain't gonna do that. And that's, and that's what. And, and that's the problem. Okay, so cool. I can recognize underdog shit when I see I, it. Like, I, I, I see. I see what cheese. you're saying there, and I should have probably known these stories from the, some of the artists that I, 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 I know. You. You, it's not about that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what you try to tell me last episode and me hearing about it for the last, I sh you shouldn't even have to tell me. Like you said, they should have said something. Facts. So I don't hear this story. I don't hear this. Uh, well, we this, shouldn't go up with the bullshit. Guys. I don't hear this rhetoric about rum. I mean, but and, look, and, and now like it's I good said, that we're on a platform where he can like yeah. sit here and say like, it's Yo, always that's, that's 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 bullshit that's about me, man. Yeah. I'm staying alive, my nigga. Like mm -hmm. it's always gonna be some good shit mm -hmm. in the cut about me. But it's gonna be some bullshit out wide about me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, yeah. that's how it is, my nigga. It, it goes like that. And that's why I did what I did, said what I said. Cause I know at the end of the day, what you just doing good, that ain't good to people. Okay. okay. Controversy nowadays is just believing in yourself. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Yeah, it that's is fast. When he said, I'm top three, that's what yeah. everybody got mad about. Yeah. Real. He just believed in himself. Like, what's that? Dog, it ain't even about it. It's just a track record that's proven. All right, can we Bruh, talk about the, your track record a little can... bit? Because I, I do want to hear about, like, all right, so we got, we had, what was the big single that was out uh, a couple years ago? Uh, look at that. Yeah, like, yeah. So when you're, when you're having success with songs like that, a couple of uh, you got the joint on the radio right now. Um, I, I I really fuck with the every other uh, year. Every year, Rum got someone ready. The joint with Young uh Young Young uh Young Money yeah. Young, like bro. Yeah, yeah, that's my sh like. I still rock that shit every that's you know every classic, week. Classic man, it's it timeless is. music. Man. Um, so when you I see you have success like this, I relate to that because that's kind of like like every year I've had a song that is on the radio. People you know relate to it and they like constantly singing and shit. How does that feel when you hear, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck all the controversy. Like, as an artist, how do you feel when you hear somebody, somebody, like, yo, playing your shit and, like, genuinely fucking with it? I know shit. It's love. Like, it, it's beyond measures for me. Like, 
You feel me? Like, every fan I pay attention to just like every fucking fan. Like, yeah. I ain't like, I, I'm on some shit like, oh, oh, yeah, he playing my shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate that shit. I love that shit. Okay. Like, that shit give me hype. That shit give yeah. me like, oh, yeah, let me go to the booth. Let me go, go do drop something This else. motherfucking yeah. crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, that's, man. I'm going to tell you right right now, dog. I don't give a fuck about music like that. I don't care about that shit. Because if I did, bro, I'd be way deeper into this shit than I am now. Yeah. I done put a lot of shit to the side. Like, I'm not fucking with no labels and shit right now. Yeah, I just feel like, about the label. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was dealing with the label situation. Too. Like, what did that? What was? The, what did you learn? Like, the good things and the bad things? Did you learn anything good or just all bad shit to turn you off from labels, man? Only good thing that it was about that shit is I got to travel. That's it. Well, that, well did you get to be That's important it. people while you were traveling? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so you already had the hustle. You feel like they ain't add nothing to that. You already, you pretty yeah, much. Yeah, but it. look, that shit was a scheme though. Like people fail to realize they they just go off of. You talk about Cali. Yeah, okay. like that shit is bullshit. Like at the end of the day, like I signed with Cali, I was hot as fuck. Feel me? I was. She was very. You were Switch buzzing. Switchbox still a classic. Like, still a classic. Yeah, you feel me? Like, yeah. look, I'm gonna tell you like this. Years and years and years and years before I met Cal, I was that nigga. You feel me? Mm -hmm. People you used to battle on the radio. Didn't you? On the radio yeah. every day. I knew I was calling them. I was calling them back to So you. niggas talk Cal all that lyrical shit. That's what I was trying to tell you. We used to battle. We used to chop niggas heads off. I used to chop niggas heads off really? on the radio yeah. every day. You have uh, yeah. you have any recordings of those? No. Like, yeah, I'm not. Hold on. I did. Hold on. Hold on. I used to record. 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 I on no video. I recorded on cassette. Like that. That's back well, when you used the shit to get a video nah, camera. I, 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 I was just wondering, maybe <laughs> nah, you were going to battle one time because you was battling one nigga on camera. I'm on your line. You said something. You just a dumbass, a cum rag, a thumbs. You said some shit, but yeah, I was like, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, back in the day. On, <laughs> on the radio? <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't on the radio. Oh, oh, this was, no, no. This was, I think this was in person. It was like, a, I seen a kid drunk and I was like, I was about to say, yo, I actually fuck with you now. And I remember you called me like, 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 I would, I told the dude, you just a dumb man. Way worse shit than they have been on the radio. On the radio? On the radio. That's hilarious. That's the niggas used to know me for, bro. Before Cali. Used to kill shit. Actually, I so when they first brought up that they were going to be interviewing you, like, your name was familiar, but I'm not real up on a lot of the, like, real new stuff. Yeah. But that's where I knew your name from, was from the old battles on the radio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. was there, he was there around the time Nikki was there. Little Nikki. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I remember Ross Little Nikki, yeah. I remember Little Nikki. You know what I'm saying? He's a legend. It goes back. It goes back. What year was that? What year was that? Like 2002? A decade, uh, a couple, a decade or something. 2002. I don't, I don't even, I'm not trying to guess. I knew I was like 16 years old on the radio. Like, yeah. yeah. Killing grown men, dog. Yeah. That's how I knew I was yeah, that nigga. Then I got locked up. So, Damn. shit. Once I got locked up, I came home. So you from you from Highland Park, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, right. From the north side area. Okay, like, got you, got you. So how did that deal with Cali come about? Anyway, like, was he just he saw you out there grinding and he fucked with you? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Like, on some 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 real life, just some some movie type shit. Like, I was with Gorilla Zoe. I was fucking with. Uh, y'all know I'm CEO P now. Yeah. Like, me and P, that was my homie. Like, me and his brother, his brother was my manager. Buck, pre Madonna husband. Like, shit, we was we was at the video shoot. Um, what is it? Uh, I'm so hood. The remix. Oh you know, shit. So that's hard. I pull up. I'm up in there. Again, Richmond legend. Well, you feel hard. me? <laughs> like, I'm up in there. I see Khaled at the little booth thing, you know what I'm saying? They're like, no, nah, you can't get in the video. You feel me? Like, yeah. you ain't, cause I ain't nobody. You feel yeah. me? Like, to them, you mm -hmm. feel me? I'm nobody. So, I'm like, yo, what's up, Khaled? You gonna know, you gonna know my name? Like, yeah, mm -hmm. what's up, man? Like, yeah, you gonna, I'm gonna be meeting you. You like, oh, all right. So, boom, that shit over. We leave. I go to the fucking hotel, to the Marriott, downtown Atlanta. That damn, I'm just, I'm in a Porsche, playing my shit. Shit, bam. Goddamn, some new shit I just worked on, yeah. this shit. You was feeling yourself. Yeah. yeah. 
me and my homeboy sitting in, you know, in the car. Yeah, damn. Next thing, no nigga just tapped on the window like, who shit is that, yo? Yeah. I was like, shit, that's my shit. This look like DJ Khaled, dog. Nigga was like, I am Khaled, man. <laughs> oh, I just seen you at the fucking oh, shit, video that's shoot. Crazy. Yeah, man, give me your number or whatever. I was like, oh, alright. He was like, can I get that CD? Shit, I'm gonna call you if I want to deal with you, like for that's real. That's crazy. So boom, about like 20 minutes later, he like, man, this fucking CD <laughs> is fucking crazy. Yeah. I fucking like this. The same day Ti got locked up. Oh, I remember that shit. day. Ti was you feel that's crazy. Like, the that's same day. day. So you was down in Atlanta for a reason. It wasn't just a video shoot. You was down there to like network and like. Have yeah, I was living in Atlanta. Yeah. I just, okay, got you, got I you. Just okay. moved to Atlanta. Got you, okay. So boom, I got them. He called me like, yeah, I want to fly you out to Miami on Monday. Like, nigga came, picked me up in the Phantom and shit. Love the it. Family. I love it. Uh, presentations, everything, man. Uh, presentations, like, everything. And I came down there with a nigga that got them. These niggas full up. They already got money. They don't know nothing about no music. Yeah. Shit. But he's speaking for me, though. Yeah. You feel me? So, one thing gets said, another thing gets said. This nigga in that bitch like, how much the record deal gonna cost? They like, huh? What the fuck you talking about? So, boom, they just play us like, oh, fuck that. Like, they won't deal with me. You feel me? Yeah. Like, so, boom. It just was like, a year went on. I'm rocking shit. I'm killing shit. You feel me? I'm down in Atlanta and up in Richmond. You feel yeah. me? So, like, shit started picking up great. Look at that. Just started bumping yeah. hard as a bitch. And then we go to a show. We was in, uh, where the fuck we was at, dog? Oh, yeah, it was at Stone Soul. Mm. Uh, Richmond? Yeah. Okay. And they was like, You was performing? Yeah. Okay, they word. was like, uh, Yeah, we, uh, Khaled and them was performing. Yeah. And then Khaled and Rick Ross, and then they had went off the stage or whatever. And then it was like, now y'all waiting for who y'all been waiting for? Yeah. Everybody started going crazy yeah. and shit. Khaled was like, I thought I was the last one. Like, who was nah, going. this is Rich <laughs> like, Nah, this he, he this is he, he going. Like, oh, See, that's when okay, back in the day when radio cared about real shit though. Yeah. Like they actually cared Did you about like. Ever do that? Nope. Yeah, they could, yeah, they would never do that now. They got too many corporate yeah, bosses. But, in but yeah, it was just it was just like man, a lot of bullying going on though, dog. Like nobody will ever say, dog. Like I went through. Everybody think my shit was just so peachy and creamy. Like hold on, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't. I want you to go back to the story. My bad. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, let yeah, yeah, finish that story. Let, let him finish talk. Oh yeah. Talk. Oh so boom. I had rocked that bitch or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then he like, yeah, man, we need to talk. We need to get up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Then some time went on again. Then he had went to a show somewhere in Virginia, and they played a song. It was you again. And it was mine. Everybody in there was going crazy or yeah. whatever. He was like, man, I got to get with him, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Then as I went back down there again, signed with that nigga. And then it went all down here from there. Like, what? So do you think he's a piece of shit nowadays? Because I do. No, I mean I've heard good things about Cal. Like, like, yeah, he's a vulture to me. To me, like, I got my. Reasons. I'm gonna be real with you. Like, I'm gonna have that conversation right <laughs> in a second. Go ahead. I'm gonna be vulture, real with man. you, dog. Like, it 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 really is fucked up. But it, from a sense, the rap game is fucked up anyway. Okay. And if you're not gonna do this shit yourself, mm. be prepared for fuckery. Like, did did he like, did he fuck you over? No, like I mean, it, I mean if you don't really if you get, if you don't feel no, like talking about like, it, it's no, cool. it's it ain't cool, it yeah. ain't nothing yeah. it ain't nothing it ain't nothing about that. I, it never got to that point. Okay. You feel me? And yeah. that's why I always thought he it, fucked you over. No, cause look, see, I was, everybody's always said that you. That's got a misconception. Up that no, see, look, this is the masses, dog. Yeah. This is they want they want nothing but bad shit. Mm -hmm. That shit sells. It's fucking. Is it, it makes them feel happy about themselves? Yeah, it's like, oh, you can like, never. I can never do it, so you can't either. Yeah, well, I don't want like, you to do it. Yeah, but look. Me. Yeah, this is exactly. I put this on my three, my three baby girls. Like everybody. I mean, it's in paperwork to show show you exactly what happened. Yeah. Well, all right. I was signed with Khaled. Once I signed with Khaled, boom. All right. First and foremost, I had 
the biggest songs in Virginia ever, history. At that time, yeah. Doing time. shit. Well, like, like uh, I'm, where the twerkers at is probably the biggest. It ain't bigger than Red Rock, bro. Stop it, bro. Yeah, where stop the twerkers is that? Bro. Shout out Ryder Rock. Shout out Ryder Rock. Red, look at that. Stop it, man. Rump I rump got ain't even taking nothing from bro. I yeah, shout out Ryder Rock. I ain't, 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 ain't even. I think. All right. What I was saying? I think where the twerkers. See, look, you interrupted that shit. He forgot what he said. What I was saying? I forgot because he didn't with that bullshit. All right, no, no, no. It was a. All right, the label, uh, you said it didn't even get that far. Talk about the label shit. All right, look, I was, I was doing the label shit. All right, so boom. I signed yeah, he with, was I signed mad. with yeah, he We was The Best. I signed with We The Best. I had hot fucking singles already. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That no fucking one song. Yeah, that yeah, no yeah. fucking one song. You That's what niggas... That's when niggas get it fucked up at, dog. I got the most fucking niggas will be like, oh, you twerk rapper, you. Nigga, nobody has more fucking street hits than me out this bitch. Nobody has more motherfucking uh, more songs known in the streets than me. Nobody, dog. And, and, and that's the truth. I ain't talking fucking opinions. Niggas can get in their feelings all they want. I got facts that'll fucking blow your mind right now. So, like... At the end of the day, like I said, I, I, I had seen, I seen some big songs. I had I had motherfucking some shit of fucking songs that was bubbling right then and there. Khaled didn't want to fucking push my songs. You feel me? Did, like, did he not want to push your songs because he didn't believe in them, or no, he didn't want to push them because he didn't want to push? It. How you couldn't believe in them motherfucking ten thousand people singing my song at no, the no, same no. time? Okay, all right. So, so what do you feel like? It, what do What do you feel like is the reason he didn't want to push them? He didn't want to push it because he didn't have production in it. He's uh, a producer. He needed that. Okay. He's an artist. That's like signing to an artist. Kind of Every time I talk to him from a and say something about my song, he always say, "We gonna do another one." And he's gonna, gonna produce do my it. producer. No, and I also he want to add some more tires in it, more pat, more. Well, slice, well, well, pat. well, if you're signing somebody, that's the whole point of doing business with nah, them. No, not necessarily. If you believe in that man, his music, he he didn't have none of his inside producers. When he knocked on that window, and got that tape room. He ain't have none of his inside producers on that tape. So let that man go yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, that's the main yeah, but, thing. Yeah, but but right. but since all right, so it's like yo, I like what you're doing, right? Say anybody, and I want to sponsor you. I don't. I, I'm paying for like our business henceforth. So his business henceforth is not to push your old music when he doesn't get any money. I have old it. music, but hey, it ain't even old music. But I, 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 it's just, so it never even you touched the to world. Stuff yeah, that wasn't yeah. on the from the, was it from the label though? No. See, that's the thing. He is that he but, needs but, his hands. It, it makes sense as a businessman. No, it never, don't. Because at yeah, the no. end of the day, you cut off everybody that I made hits with. Then you gonna tell True. the man to work with you. Then you gonna tell the man to work with him. But that's why I'm signing you, cause I yo fam, I see what you're doing. I can level you up. How can like, you level me up when that ain't my sound? I got like, signed for what I did. You feel you, what I'm saying? You got, you got signed for your potential, man. Yeah, oh, I got him. signed for my history, for your, my yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, my fashion. So for him, it looks he like... He like my music. He ain't like me. Yeah, I know. Really? So from his point of view, he it's just you like... like he ain't like me as a person? No, yeah. we didn't get along. He's not a street dude. So at the end of the day... Oh, it's hard to, it's, it's hard it's to not, vibe with him? It's, it ain't that. It's... I'm not his people's. He's not my people. Okay. Uh, he, yeah, you, you, you feel you me? Business. Business, dog. Yeah. This ain't no. Yeah. This Fresh ain't no. Business. Hey, hey, play, play, shit. This <laughs> nigga ain't goddamn got nothing when I was fucking with him. You feel me? Like yeah. at the end of the day, it was he everybody knows. helping each other out type shit. You feel me? Yeah. But when the time for you to fucking fill in where you supposed to fill in, you never there. I agree. You feel me? I agree. Like shit, that little could, shit. So he like, can't fuck you over, to, in my opinion, bro. I don't it's, think so. It's not that, cause at the end of the day, I'ma just tell you like this. You learned a lesson out of it. Yeah, cause yeah. look, I just thought he had more leverage than he had. Yeah, at that mm. time he didn't. He wasn't he didn't who he have. is now. Mm. Yeah. He was like, but at the end of the day, it's still y'all wouldn't understand. Even back then, he had a powerful position. But he burnt it up by representing Ace Hood and other music that people wasn't accepting. To yeah, the point Ace, where Ace nobody Ace, judged Ace him. Only didn't care, one his time. Like Ace care about his fucking. But I'm just saying, if you put out a fucking, if you put out a certain amount of fucking CDs and they don't sell, okay. it don't matter about your opinion. It's okay. about 
Facts. So you feel like that's the labels feel like, I agree. You feel like the artists, the labels feel like your Cali. You can't break your own artist. You can work with all these other artists, but you can't break your own artist. Listen, so this, you said it right. Uh, so you it, said it right. It was just you like, and Ace Hood on the label at the time? No, nah, it was some shit of people on the label. I was just going on, going on. None of the Cali artists, except for, I don't know why I know it's Rama Ace Hood. Yeah. Like okay. it's 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 She's like that because at the end of but, the day, but we do. But certain artists have blown to a higher level after doing a Khaled song, though. Ooh, tell me some money. Um, yeah. just like I wouldn't even say like yeah, but, like that. Like, name come up like he did and, and, and was like independent and no, nah, like 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 who uh like uh when Wayne did the uh. You talking about Wayne? No Wayne. Oh yeah, yeah that's what You're I'm going. No, bro, oh, listen, man. they listen. I, what I'm saying, Wayne. Wayne. From back in Cali. Lil Wayne, Wayne anything Wayne, Lil Wayne, Wayne do with Lil with DJ Khaled helps DJ Khaled. I agree, but every time if this is what I'm saying, and this goes back to the point from earlier, when Khaled puts together these songs. He's allowing these artists to shine in a certain way. He and when Wayne answer. got... He helping him out. That's you talking about Khaled about new shit, but yell on the track. 50,000 right He's putting in the concept together. When, did, when, when Wayne did the Easter shit. Pink line, that shit took him to a whole nother stratosphere. The Man, Easter Pink line. Or, uh, we, that's what I'm asking you. Huh? That's you you just no, that's from your perspective. I'm telling you what happened. I'm watching the culture shifted. The truth is Wayne is one of the fucking... Hottest fucking artist that will yeah, he's ever the touch he's the earth. He's the best. So like that's, that's something you can't get right down. You can't talk good. You keep that's talking what I'm about saying. Like you can't about give it. no DJ Khaled credit no, for no, no I'm Wayne. Not, I'm not saying that he made, he too. made them. Ross I'm Garrett. saying that yo he gave them right. moments to highlight and and stand out in their like career. You got together. Fucking stop when, 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 uh, yeah, bro, uh, let's, let's, let's be when, 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 uh, when, I mean, Jordan I'm not did taking nothing the the away from nobody, uh, dog. He's a good at what he does. That's yeah, what he yeah, does. Let's give him that. We He's not that. a That's rapper. You but he don't do shit, though. But, bro, you, you, you don't do I was when young. You, when Listen, you use bro, your I was young, bro. I was just a young nigga. You don't see nobody. If, if it's like that, how many niggas do you see just running trying to sign with Cali? Yeah, oh no! Who I'm wants not, to say that's a dream I'm not destination? Talking, again, I am not. Like, I agree nobody, with you on the fact that his his ability to run a label we've seen is not good, which is why people he, he's like uh, trying to get on the uh, Def Jam like president role. I would feel bad for Def Jam. None of his he he, 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 didn't, he, he didn't do right. By but us yet. but. There are moments that he has created for even big artists to really shine. He didn't and, create and, them. He just he just had an album and put them on an album. And that's creating the moment. Bro. Hey yo, when you make the beat and you like, hey yo, I need I you guess, to get on that. You're helping create the moment, on, bro. I've had Ross Lane make to the beat though. Yeah, like what? Did he, it doesn't he, matter. Hold on, he you, used to produce his beat Novocaine. I don't think beat Novocaine is in the studios with Rick Ross and all them. You know what I'm saying? Executive producer, man, he's still producing. He just man. yelling over the track, bro. Man, man he just got to produce. Producing. He got the fucking resources to get it to the people. That's all it is. So they is go it, just yeah. He's a tastemaker. Is it a label that's, you would see yourself signing? He's a tastemaker. Was it a label you would see yourself signing? It. I mean, no. I mean, or I can't even really partnership. say like. I mean, if the, if the if opportunity it's right, is good, it's, it's good. right. Yeah, I, I would have been with Khaled if it was right, yeah, but it won't right. And yeah. like I said, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. when you don't goddamn abide by the fuck nigga laws, bro, people look at you like you a fuck nigga. So how did you get out the contract? Mm -hmm. All right. Because that, that's important. I want to know. This is like, this could probably help, the fuck, the fuck, possibly the fuck, the fuck. help somebody, you know, all these artists going through contract. Oh, this, this, is exactly, this is exactly what happened to me. All right. I was saying with we the best. But with We The Best, We The Best, like I told you, they didn't have enough money to take care of an artist. So gotcha. with that being said, it's basically like, you feel me? It's like if you start a fucking rap label mm -hmm. right now. So they they, they burnt out. They didn't have no money. So they, they had to let you out your like, No, you, it, you, ain't, you ain't even let me finish, though. Okay, go ahead. Go like, ahead. all right. I went to, they got me a deal with Def Jam. Okay. You feel me? So it was like uh, um, a father label. Yeah, yeah. it's it's all right. Def Jam, we the best. Khaled is the 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 catcher, like if the, the talent beat. finder, whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's the one who bring you to the person, like yeah. plug. You feel me, like the, okay. he's a middleman. Yeah, I, give him I mean, that. I that's his position. I'm yeah. not trying to take nothing from nothing from nobody. You good? You, you good? Feel just tell, tell, tell like I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, like. That was his job to go find talent, but I mean, I right, I'm gonna just say tell, tell you like this. He was with Def Jam at the time. He supposed to be the Def Jam president or whatever, mm -hmm. but at the time, he was trying to get about the shit. You feel me? 
So why the fuck you gonna try to sign me to somebody you trying to get from up under? Because he probably makes money off of it. sense, though. Yeah, but, but it ain't no problem. It is. Because yeah. they get the budget. He works the budget. He got a red, He got a studio. He gonna make the money off of the studio, everything. That's why he ain't want me to goddamn bring no other production into the fucking shit. Because he ain't gonna have no hand and in that. I think that's fucked up. So, okay, okay. at the end of the day, that's what I'm saying. They... Off of me a fucking deal. At first, I was like, yeah, hey, oh, fuck that shit. Let me, yeah, like, I never seen this shit. Like, you feel me? You was like, hype. Yeah. yeah. But Try then, once, what them shit said? Let me get one. Try that shit. That was what I was saying. Let me get one, too. Yeah. Yeah. Throw that, throw that. Yeah. So, uh, basically, like, they presented a deal to me, you feel me? Yeah. Like, this death jam, I'm all hype, trying to call my people. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to goddamn level up. Gotta call him, did you sign yet? Did you sign yet? This nigga can't call. <laughs> no, I'm out too though, don't worry about it. Yeah. All right. So the lawyer's just like, you sure you want to sign this? I'm like, hell yeah, I want to sign So you did have a lawyer look at it? Yeah. Okay. See, hey, Lloyd. What? See what? He, Megan the one that you talk about. No, Megan, Megan is the one that had a damn lawyer. He I know, but you keep talking. You said last ep- last episode that um, some of these kids don't know about this. Da da da. Some of them don't. Did, he was in an era with, when it was primed to get raped by a record label. Wrong and He different. had a lawyer look at it. I'm just saying. Exactly. Exactly my point. You got to be different. You got to stop. I didn't tell you. Did. you I'm gonna I didn't tell you. Yeah. That's the reason why I'm even talked about right now. It's because I know the business side of this shit other than just try to fucking muscle my way in with some fucking music. Music is don't even fucking matter. People don't even buy music no more. They buy people. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I told you that. Music yeah, you feel like you need to be doing more. I feel like for real, I think a lot of things, I think things that would have helped you is being more visible on like platforms like this. I think you, Are you going to start doing more stuff like this? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, because I think that a lot but of... I was forbidden from doing that shit because at the end of the day... I was spending my time chasing behind another nigga that I won't even get no shine off of, for real. But yeah. people seen it like it was good for me to just do it anyway. I yeah, mean, it, it, looks, it looks good on a um From the outside, man. but yeah. then when you like, yo, I ain't getting this, I ain't doing this, then it's like, oh, you, what you expect? All right. <laughs> so, so when you, so you got out the, the situation... And that kind of led you to like be on some more independent grind, do everything yourself. Do you think that? Um, the, my question for you though is, did you not trust Khaled enough to maybe try something new? No, Khaled in a way, man. Cause at the end of the day, I just looked at it like this. I've been in some shit of times where I feel like he done fucked up opportunities for me. So it it, it, it I, turns you from that, Bruh, Look, I'm one of them niggas, dog. That 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 let loyalty make me a slave. You mm, feel me? I like, feel you. I feel you on that. Like, I had a song with Pusha T. Pusha T came to Richmond. They told me don't fuck with Pusha. Who told you, everybody? Like, like, Khaled told me don't fuck with Pusha because that's like I just awesome. had bad timing. With everything, as soon as I got down and did that, that would have actually, that could have actually. Why wouldn't you let two Virginia artists work? Yeah, and he said that just on the strength that. Uh, had Grindin already come out at this point? Man, Grindin this shit know. way out. Right, right, cool, Push cool, the cool. T by cool. itself. Uh, just mm-hmm. when he dissed Wayne, and Wayne oh, okay. was fucking with Khaled. Mm, oh, you feel me? So yeah, at that's the end of the I day, it was just the protecting yeah, 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 fucking yeah. shit. He like, yo, that's gonna look bad on my end. Yo, there's. Like, no loyalty. Right. Like, all right, I'm going to do that for you. All right, I got you. Then, at the end of the day, when it's time for me to get my shit done for me, oh, yo, I'm going to get with you. Yo, that's how that's it that is, That's that bullshit, dog. yo. That's crazy, that's, that's, that's some bullshit. That's the, but but was... for real, I'm going to be real with you, dog. It, it w- if it's not about you, it would never be about you. And that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you from the beginning. It won't about me. Mm. You feel me? It was about what I could do to help big yeah. up another person. Okay. You feel me? He see the control that I had in my area. Fuck bigging me up everywhere else. Keep him right here so he can 
represent me and keep these people tuned in on my shit. Mm. That's Crazy. exactly what you do, dog. Like, it's, it's it's a, I mean, it's a smart, it's a smart strategy. Way. But yeah. it's it's fucked up because you up. you felt you believed in yourself and you went, that's not the role you. Always that bullshit, time. shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking time. Yeah. I mean, well, then, no, because at the end of the day, it's, it's just like shooting your shot at a, a chick with a boyfriend. Like, yeah, you got something going on. Maybe you want to try this. But you saying like, he's a fucking vulture. Like you, I just you, said. you 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 getting you got so many other people on your ass about other deals. You gotta find a way to get them get over on somebody else yeah. in these games, dog. Yeah. Rob, that's what I learned ball. in the rap game, man. That's what it's all about. It's like. So many motherfuckers sign deals and don't even really know what they signing. Even when it's presented by the lawyer, people just want that little bit of money up front. They just fool. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And that's something I ain't go for. Like, and, that's and good people though. call me a fuck. Ah, oh, man, you fucked up everything. Ah, oh, this, <laughs> that, that. Because I protect my motherfucking life. <laughs> like, dog, these niggas talk about goddamn five albums. Nigga, I'll never yeah. be able to do shit. <laughs> Yeah. Like for real, bro. And then yeah, at the end the of the day, day if you're not even looking out for my best interest right now, what the fuck would I sign for you? These amount of years, and I'm not discrediting anything that you did or done, but I'm just saying, dog. If I feel like I'm hot about my goddamn self, why not be by my goddamn self? Yeah, so exactly. I just put the pot Shit. Anyway. At the end of the day, I'm out this bitch doing everything myself anyway, so what the fuck am I splitting something with somebody for? Yeah, they not splitting the best was here, when bro. They're coming to bash it, come your way. They're our, not our, our other host, Youth, I wish he was here, bro. He, we feel exactly how you feel, man. Yeah. And, and why is that such a constant theme in, um, in like, music? Why? He didn't take me to no plateau or nothing like that. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like when, when he, when he, when he spin your uh, single on tour and shit like that, I ain't gonna lie. When he when he got that deal, I was hyped as a bitch to see a Richmond dude. Be we were next all to hyped, Cali. bro. Like if I you were tuned in at all, everybody was hyped. But you just gotta understand. From, That's why I said different he, yo, point he's of a Richmond dog. I've been like, telling you that though. Hey, I said that. Like yeah, you I'm, I'm yeah. just trying to say, like at the end of the day, dog, this shit is for the fool the masses, my nigga. This shit is for the fool the masses. Like, a lot of people that I fuck with, a lot of people wouldn't even listen to their shit unless I fucked with them. Okay. That's how you fool the masses. You take a little bit of your little success and you sprinkle it on a nigga and see what he can do with it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then they then they expect you to come back. That remind me like of that combo we like had Like you owe me type shit. Yeah, that's yeah. how it is. But at the end of the day, nigga ain't doing nothing for you. Nigga ain't doing nothing for you, dog. Like yeah. nothing, nothing. No, I relate, bro. Like, I, I've carried a lot of people on my back, and I put them in the best positions of their life just off the strength. Just my because. team did everything for me. Everything, man, was my niggas. Like my homeboys. Do you still do you still make music with all of them? They don't rap. That's why she went good. You it's said that's big. why I went good. It, it goes good. My yeah, shit that goes sense, good. Because they're not in the way. Because I don't Trying have no rappers on my team. It's shows, just me. Yeah. Okay, so what I mean is like, the people that were on your team then, are they still on your team? Yeah, they're my niggas. Okay, cool. That's good. Like, That's good. shit. So you don't, you have any... Experience? I didn't have no big team. These was my niggas that I grew up with. Well, I know, I remember Red. I don't know if you remember well, No, nah, that ain't my people. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Um... Yeah, um, okay. That's crazy, man. I'm talking about my niggas from, 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 from the north. My niggas that were with me. Like, they won. With me. Like, like, yeah, like, my niggas. Like, I ain't talking about no niggas that, that was after the rap shit. Gotcha. I'm talking about niggas that was, we in the club fighting together and shit. Got gotcha. about this bitch mm -hmm. shit. Like yeah. that. Like, like your actual friends. my niggas. Yeah. Like, we went on tour. We we was five deep in the room, nigga. Everybody picking up fifty dollars on CDs, nigga. Bro, like, you feel I love me? It. Like, I love it. How, how, how is the culture in Florida for you down there? As far as the, the scene down there, when that you, shit, that shit. Is it, 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 do you feel more love in down there than you do when you do it in Richmond? No, because at the end of the day, it's much love in Richmond. At the end of the day, bro. I'm do you feel be, safe in Richmond? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And not like, safe. not like, not like he's threatening. <laughs> but no, I'm, what I'm saying is like, yo, there's. A, a constant story about rappers oh, getting gotcha. killed in their I own gotcha. city. Like you know what I'm saying? Do you yeah. ever feel like, like, yo, you know one too many people the and you just don't want to be seen in certain spots and shit like that? I mean, look, I feel like I'm not no stupid-ass nigga. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. feel me? Like, 
So, I ain't, bro, I'm not from there. I'm not from with nobody over there. What yeah. the fuck I'm doing over there? Like, gotcha. at the end of the day, like, shit, I'm not trying to be, I don't even put myself, I try not to even put myself in that situation. Like, nah, that's, I mean, yeah, yeah. Feel absolutely. Me, like, absolutely. Most still, of the time, yeah. I, mean, I be I mean, riding, I got my kids with me, I'm chilling, dog. I don't know. Okay. I don't yeah. even do you, all you that You talk about shit. your kids a lot now. You yeah, see his like, kids a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's what I meant. Like, when it's yeah. you see it. That's another thing, another thing we got to give credit to, like, black men. This men, period, but, you know what I'm saying, especially no, black no, no, men. No, 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 shit. Black men. Um, our generation, we came up with either our dads was gone or divorced or uh, drug addicts and shit. Or they were portrayed, per, portrayed that way. Oh, portrayed, no, no. Yeah, and yeah. that community really was like, my dad yeah, was gone, your yeah. dad was, you know, whatever. But the point is, we turned out to be good fathers. And I, was, I see that a lot on this page. So your you dad know. wasn't in your life either? Yeah, he was there, but okay. when he could be. Like, okay. But like I said, shit, my pops introduced me to the game. To rap yeah. him? Hell no. <laughs> okay. All right. I just want, I want to, hey, I want to clarify that. Not that, that game. Yeah, I want to, yeah. All right. You feel me? Like, I was already out there doing my thing, you feel me? Yeah. And, and, and then, shit, he just one of you. his friends was like, hey, shit, you need to holler at him. He knew me. He had a cop from him before. He was like, what? That's my son. He don't do nothing. <laughs> boy, tell me you ain't doing why the fuck you ain't tell me, boy? We've been missing some shit of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, damn, yeah. boy. And this was in North Northside. Yeah. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. That's what's up. What high school did you go Church to? Hill. I used to be over Church Hill. Shit, I went to him right go for like a little while. I didn't even. I ain't even go to school. Like. Okay, no, that's cool. Everybody I got. To, I went to. I went to him right go. Like. Did you play After any sports that, while you were yeah, in school? Yeah, I, I used to play basketball, but I mean, I ain't making fun. Was, was you nice or not? Nah? Yeah. 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 Everybody said Why is everybody saying that? Hey, bro. Like, I want no motherfucking all star. Like, <laughs> you feel me? But, dog, you I go jump, to the court, bro. motherfucker. Hey, give me him. Him type shit. Yeah. I right. can dribble, I can shoot, I can do all that okay. shit. But I, I was shorter than everybody. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I ain't even get this tall that I am now until I was about 17, 18. I was out of school about 15. Shit, um, what, do, what do you find, at, like, is, like, like, how do you find a balance between doing the music um, independently and um, having to fund it and, you know, and then also having a family and having, like, a life to just, like, live? Because you seem to be pretty involved in your kid's life. Um, so it seems like that's, like, a hard... You know, balance to do yeah. both. Not really, because I take my kids with me. You feel me? Like, oh, so they're part of the experience the entire time. Yeah, yeah. My kids, everywhere up. you see me at, yeah. my kids with me. Like, That's what's up. Every state I'm in, my kids with me. I don't take no bunch of niggas on no <laughs> road or nothing. Like, yeah. I do none of that shit. I'm a grown <laughs> ass man. I got my kids and shit. Like, um, for real. That's like, all right. Like, that shit, that shit is about goddamn. Elevating and, and staying safe and, and showing your your people's life so they ain't never got to experience the bullshit that you went through. I agree. You feel agree. me? Like, hey, since you since we talk about his daughters, not uh, not to, it's gonna sound crazy for my transition from the last. Right, so, it's all right, it's all right. so would you rather have we talked about this last podcast? Would you have rather have a gay son or a thought daughter? Not no disrespect, but if you had to choose between them, which one would you? It was a conversation. We had to do. I don't it. know, yeah. dog. I really couldn't. Even, I I don't know because. Because you love your daughters question, a lot, bro. so that's your daughters, yeah, daughter daughter thing. Thing. the thing. The toughest thing. And you got three daughters, in, so it's like, I feel you if you like. You a girl dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy's yeah. girl. No, yeah. no, no. But dad's, what they call them? They call them girl dads. Oh, girl dads. Toby, Toby. Oh, yeah, 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 boy. Because you ain't. I don't, I mean, but first and foremost, I just feel like it, it, it's just. I don't know, man. You, know, <laughs> yeah. you, you gotta be, you gotta just believe in God, man. Just, <laughs> Straight up, you gonna have to bring God in it. Yeah. Are you voting for anybody? Nah, shit, I'm a fella. Me too. Okay. If you could vote for somebody, would you vote for somebody? And who? I would don't you know vote who for? to vote for. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who? What you talking about? Like for a president? Because you know, you know, Biden and Bernie uh, are. Bro, this shit is fucked up regardless. <laughs> That's how I feel, so, bro. All right, so, so you rolled past the projects when Bush was here. You rolled past the projects when Clinton was here. You yeah. rolled past the projects when goddamn Obama was here. Mm -hmm. All the motherfuckers look the same every time you rolled past them. So mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck. I, I mean, but for real, I really don't see what the fuck is the purpose. Like, what is this shit for? Like, don't even matter, my nigga. Like, 
I don't understand this. They shit. had Ebola when Obama was president. They got coronavirus. Every time it's a uh, <laughs> you know presidential candidate thing going on, that's when all that bullshit pop up. Well, well, I do, I do agree with some of that. Um, I'm not like a super conspiracy theorist or nothing, so I doubt, you know, I don't like buy into a whole bunch of shit. But it, it is convenient. But also, you know, with the way that people travel nowadays and like do things and like the amount of people and the amount of damage we've done to the earth, um, you know, it's believable. You know, yeah. it's definitely believable. I mean, we've seen it before. Well, it's believable. Shit like coronavirus, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, you the know. The government gonna hype it up though once it gets started. Yeah, like, yeah. And, but it's also, it also is like a little discouraging because when you, what you said is, is true. It, the climate for regular people does not change throughout these presidencies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Time. If anything, it seems to get a little bit worse for us. But that's why I think it's important that, that people like Bernie Sanders are, like, nominated and put in position to change things. Because he's, like, advocating for the regular person. Like, shit that we're dealing with right now, we wouldn't yeah. be dealing with if... Yeah, yeah, if Bernie his policy. Yeah, he be, yeah, yeah, he does. And, and, and that's why we never get what we really... They gave us Obama, but that would just like to keep people happy. And shit. Yeah, that wasn't. Uh, 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 we really need somebody that's going to go in there and like go to bat for us. Yeah. And like, but I don't even understand what the fuck you' supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, a, a big problem that people are talking about um, is universal health care. So like everybody having health care that they can access is easily, and it's not based off of income. You just have it as a right as a human being. And, it, and, it, and the reason that's important is because it actually saves so much money and sickness. On, on other people. Yeah, too. if you can go to the doctor regularly and you're yeah. not like, yo, I'm about to lose a whole check over this. Yeah, I can't you know go. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't go. Make the shit worse. Yeah, yeah. Like, then when you go when it's too late, we go, the other taxpayers got to pay for this shit. Exactly. So it's like, yo, save yeah. money, but yeah, because I ain't paying that bill. So yo, that's what I'm about to say. <laughs> you, gonna, you, gonna, you gonna do a remix for um, uh, over there fighting? You gonna do a remix for Over That Fight? Yeah, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm just starting to blow the record up, so shit. You ever think about doing like a contest thing where you let like local artists make verses on your songs? Uh, I just seen uh, Benny, Benny the Butcher, Butcher's doing something like that. Rapper Tun's doing something like that. Who is that? Uh, Rapper Tun. Um, you know who Benny the Butcher is from Griselda? Who from Buffalo. That? Oh yeah, you got to look. Oh yeah, you look. Yeah, definitely looking at it. He signed the Rock. Like, he like signed the Rock Nation and um, Shady Records. Uh, it's he like signed, a group. He signed Shady. Yeah, they're signing Shady. I ain't know Eminem was still signing good artists. Yeah, bro. All the <laughs> honestly, all the Eminem's artists are good. That's part of the problem I have with them is that yo, you have Royce the Five Nine who just dropped an amazing project, and you got Griselda. And you still have the other two members of Slaughterhouse. That's House. crazy. I didn't know he had Like, yo, himself. bro, you should be pushing these artists, especially Royce. He's too nice. But my, my bad. Let me let me get back. So these are, uh, and then Repetan, he's actually from Richmond. Um, but they had uh, these contests where they're, like, letting people, like, record on the open verse and then the best verse, uh, you know, is the remix. Shit, I try not to do that shit. You know why? Why is that? Cause this gonna be a fucking fight about why you didn't pick me. Oh, some hate. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> it's I can always see that. I, mean, you, I mean, what you you gotta set. You know, if you set rules, let, let people vote. Pick, let let uh, the public vote. Yeah, let the public vote. But uh, you uh, can't uh, really uh, let the public vote. Cause at the end of the day, the people who just reach out to the most people get on the song. Yeah, that's like, true. That shit don't even Not work. Nicest, it doesn't necessarily mean it's nice. Yeah, that's yeah, true. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I be saying that shit all the time. Like anybody in the industry, what you put on that motherfucker? What you mean? If, who, you, who, could, who, if, if you, you could do anybody in any the remix for over there fighting, who would you throw on that? Who, who do you? you like, what rapper would you put? Other on than that? yourself, like who you, in the game right now, or not even in the game? No, so no, I mean, just no. like in the rap game. Yeah, like people who are rapping. Shit, like I mean, I'm, I'm ideally not, it could be anybody, man. Who do you want to work with then? I guess not even just to limit it to that shit, one. Me, yeah, I do Drake. You feel me? Drake? I hate yeah. that motherfucker. Right. <laughs> like, I hate but you, that but you get it. Two chains. Yeah, yeah, see, I was about to say, 2 chains. that would be the perfect feature yeah. for that song. 2 chains. Yeah. yeah, 2 chains would snap on that. Some, He's yeah. going to give you, like, these two lines that, that they're going to be rec the quoting for the next I'm 10 years. I'm talking about you know Drake, so? dog, because that bitch going to be the yeah, biggest yeah. song in the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, that's what people fail to realize, dog. I'm not in this shit to be the best rapper. I'm in this motherfucker to get the biggest bag and get the fuck on. Okay. Like, you feel me? Okay. Like, I make great music, though. That's what you can't deny, though. 
Cause I got a whole fucking. Well, CD, you you can dog. you can be great like, at you can be great at something and still want to make money off of it. I don't think anything's wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. but I'm just saying if it ain't, I feel like at 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 any point in life, dog, is you don't have time to waste. Mm. I said like, I be feeling pressure about time. Like anytime I have anxiety, my anxiety come from a, the, what did I accomplish today? Did I get to do this? Did I get to do that? And when I don't get to do certain things, I get anxiety. Like fuck, I wasted a whole day. You Man. know what I'm saying? Ever since I started, my nigga, I've been hating on. Like, yeah, I think know, I, I told him that shit is fuel for my fire. Like, I love it. I was like, underdog shit. Underdog feel shit. me, like we like that type of see, shit. See, see, I, I just like shit. I got over that aspect of it, and I just started like, yo, fuck the people who don't care about me. I'm gonna just deal with. I, I don't only but you like, ain't deal with the hate on his level yet, though. So you can't say that. So you do. I don't, with, but but fam. from on on my level, I'm yeah, gonna be real. real. You, you, you think you do? I'm gonna be real. I don't be caring. It be funny <laughs> to me. Funny as shit, dog. Do you, uh, it should be. Um, let's 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 switch up uh, total gears. Let's let's get into something. I, I like like. Do you watch Rick and Morty? I don't even know. What that oh is. my god, bro! Yeah. I I want to talk about Rick and Morty, man. What's up? I'm, I'm just mad right now because they don't have like. I, I love when they put the whole doing. season on Hulu, and they're not doing that. They're doing it episode <laughs> by episode. I can't fucking take it, man. Um, but what yeah. Do, what do you watch then? Well, yeah, like, what, what, yeah what, what, like, what do you watch? What are you doing in your spare time? You probably watch a lot of Disney movies now because well, you got three, girls. Three girls, yeah. Shit, no. Nah? I just be chilling, dog. I be on my computer and shit. They be doing this shit. <laughs> okay. Like, I don't watch TV. I don't watch shit. I don't listen to music. I don't do none of that shit. Like, you, you don't feel like that um, keeps you out of the loop of things? What? Like, as far as, like, being relevant and stuff like that? What you mean? By not watching TV. Not yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, sorry. you know, like, maybe Listen not having arms. a punchline that's really big because it's like a like one of the latest power episodes or something like that. You don't think that yeah, that, no. that hurts you? Okay. I he feel like that keeps that. him true to himself. Yeah, he don't need <coughs> I'm the same way. Yeah. Man, I don't need to watch none of this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That shit won't last anyway. Two years later, that, that punchline you made about a power episode, that shit gonna be wag as a bitch. Depends, on how, it depends on how hard it is. But I agree. <laughs> depends I agree. on who <laughs> do it. Yeah, depends yeah. on who do it and how hard it is. But yeah. nine times out of ten, look at all them rappers they pop Ooh. and two and two and, and then two years later they're gone. But yeah. they in the content is watered down. I don't think they're drunk, of course, no more. Oh yeah, that bitch probably been dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, we let's ask them some questions, man. I wanted like. <coughs> At least, you know what I'm saying, like, um, find out things people want to know. Is there any I producers don't... in Richmond that have caught your attention? Are you open to hear some beats from producers in Richmond? Yeah, always. I make my own beats, though. Okay. Oh, what you make your beats on? Shit, Fruit Loops. Okay, yeah, I bet. How long you started? I mean, how long you been doing that? Shit, for about, like, a year. Bro, I could teach you some shit, bro. Yeah, shit. Yeah, I think him and him and you, too, would be dope. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you gotta hear that. But, but I'm down to here. It's like... Most of the beats I be hearing, I don't like them shit. Like, and you shit? record yourself as well? Yeah. Mix? Yeah. Everything? Okay, cool. That's but uh, that's another thing. Rum music, uh, his quality of music is mixing is good. I would listen to that shit in the car. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. He, mixing I, is definitely there, there's, good. The there's, like, there's, like, I compare people to myself because I actually pay, like, for, um, like, mastering, like, for real. Mm -hmm. There's, like, five people in the city that make, like, high quality mu sounding music. And not talking about everything else that comes in. Just, like, the quality the of the sound it, yeah. is good. It's and it's, and it's radio points. quality, yeah. album quality shit. shit. Real clear. Yeah, a lot of people don't, you know, don't know that process is like probably the most important. Yeah, yeah. I got some. Food what you think mind. about okay. man? Uh, I'm just we asking questions, random shit. What did you? How did you feel about uh, Hot Girl Summer last year, man? What did you think? <laughs> What's that? Oh damn, bro! You really yeah. being his own body? Uh, uh, Meg Thee Stallion, she had Hot Girl, girl Summer. Really, it was a movement about women Hot being whores. No, 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 it was like a movement. It was just like, yo, <laughs> yeah. bitches was out here wilding out. Just man. being whores. Just because they, you know. No, that it. wasn't. Oh, it was being they, 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 they was, was, they was acting horse. like dudes. They was, they was out here being bossed up and like, out being here just, just don't. Bossed up is not selling your pussy then talking shit to the next bitch because you selling your pussy and you got money so you could shit on the working bitch. That's not I will say that. Ratchet shit. Yeah, yeah, that ain't bossed up. Like, it's working women out here, single parent mamas out there busting their ass, and you talking That's shit to them. That's not the only way you can be a boss, though. You talking shit to them because you, you selling your pussy and you got a bag. They, you not bossed up. Sit the fuck down. That is kind of bossed up. It's a working black woman. No, it ain't. It is kind of bossed up. It's what a, are you talking about? It's you bossed. telling me right nah. now, to see, you, I, I can sell nah, you something that, that, that I can get for free? Like I can go get pussy, some pussy for free. You not talented. Not I, but I'm going to pay for that pussy because it's bomb. All I'm saying is not a talent to sell your pussy. That's okay to Anybody can sell pussy. Is not a talent. 
Now go out there and do something else. Go no, that's not true. You know that's that's absolutely not no, true. It is true, cause cause you can have listen. Look, bro. Listen, it is true. You talk to a nigga who listen. <laughs> Yo, listen. So if somebody yeah, starts selling dick, you wouldn't be impressed, man. Bro, I don't know what he talking about. Selling <laughs> dick. I don't know what he talking about? Well, I'm, my point I'm trying to make is. Is it don't take no talent to lay on your back and sell pussy. So don't knock the single mothers, don't knock the other hardworking women out here who just go out there and get it. They, they so, are there. so you're you're just like say, just don't knock each other. Just be appreciative of each other's. Uh, yeah, don't knock the bitch to sell the pussy. Okay. She might gotta do it because she got kids, but don't knock her either. But <laughs> That's even worse. don't cross knock each other, man. Like stay in your place, man. But I do think it's kind of I think because you got three girls, bro, and, and the movement I'm talking about <sighs> is fucking enough for the next generation of females. They're teaching these young girls to yo be toxic, shit on men, get the money you can out of them. Now, of course, as a, if I have a daughter, but, but, I'm gonna but, want her, him, I'm and, her but him and his wife aren't like that. They're on they're on um, IG and they're posting pictures of I'm them doing things. I know I'm just saying it affects this generation of girls though. No, it yeah, doesn't. I mean, do. But okay, at the end that. of the day. I, 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 my kids, they they know about the songs and stuff because we listen to the radio. Yeah. You feel me when they're in the car and shit, but shit don't go past that. Right? Yeah. Well, well, it is about how you raise them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like what you said. It's like they don't come in the house and be like, yo, put that car to be on. Like, yeah, yeah. Nah, ain't yeah. Like that. Hell nah. Is there any rappers you won't let them listen to? Nah. I mean, I don't mean, I know. Maybe if you're just like, Yo, I'll let you Drake. listen, but not. I ain't what? let my son listen to Drake for like two, three Is he years. light skinned? Who, my son? Yeah. Nah. Okay, okay. Nah, nah, nah. nah. nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. nah I don't got nothing against nobody. Like, I mean, shit, I. Nah, he, how do you feel he, about ghostwriting, bro? Like, how you feel about the ghostwriting? I mean, because I feel like a nigga can't claim top three. Like, that's why I say Rum got more right to claim top three than Drake do. Drake. Being on record, having people write this shit. Bro, come on. No, no, I know, come on. I ain't never heard no nigga with no reference track. Do you, would you even feel like that? What you mean? That 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 top that you could be mentioning the same conversation as Drake right now. Shit, not for the body of work I've done. Yeah, but you write your own shit though. Okay. Oh, I'm not talking from the standpoint. Like, it doesn't matter. Right? Just the body. From 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 the body of work, hell no. But okay. he's a professional rapper. I'm I'm not no professional rapper. I just rap and I just do. I'm living life. Well, more of a rapper. Yeah. 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 I, nah, I've, I've, that nigga got people writing. Like I said, bro, would, would you have somebody ghost write you a song? Hell, I mean exactly. no. Integrity. But if it's your, no, I, I'm no. Hold on, hold on. And I'm not asking. I'm not trying to carry you or nothing. But you just said it was you. You're doing it for the money. You could get a big That's bag. So if somebody like that comes in, is like, yo, if Drake come with you with a record, would you take it? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. that, and, right, and, if you wrote your, your lyrics, you'll take it. Yeah. Right, wrong. I saw. If you if you let that happen, I know you wouldn't give a fuck. But I wouldn't listen to you no more. I feel you. What? I wouldn't see you. I would I listen to you. you, especially if it was mine. Oh, that's not wrong. That's yeah. not wrong. That's that's Drake then. That's you don't wrong. know, bro. But that's what I'm saying. Why you, you don't make know. a move? We talking from a rapper that that's on the come up perspective. We not talking it. about a ground rapper. So you feel like if you were already sound and like really did rap for a career on that type of level, you wouldn't do it? Hell no. Okay. All right. I, I get it. That's a that's a justified like, argument. If Drake come to me right now and be like, "Yo, I, I want you to sing this and I put you on the song." Damn right, nigga. Let's get it. No, I, no, no. What if he what comes is, to yeah, you yeah, with yeah. a whole beat? He has a song written out. He wants you to rap his he words. He wants you to rap, rap his words right now. You gonna yeah. do it? Yeah, right. I'm getting paid. Yeah. Yeah. I see why you would do that. I'm not mad at it. I'm, I'm not, not mad at him, but as a you fan, I'm like, so, so, you now, so now you you're going to take away from everything game? else that he did because he, he has one shot. I wouldn't listen to no more rum then if you're like, man, nigga, right? It's, it's not rum at that point. Somebody it is, but, but at the end of the day, it's still good music. I had to I do, do what I had to do to get on. I wouldn't be mad at you. I don't know gay shit. Like No, I see what you mean. Did a song for a nigga. They paid me to do a song. That's what I've been trying to do my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Get paid to do music, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. It ain't about how you got paid. Man, some motherfuckers been wanting to rap their whole life, but it didn't work out. They ended up on the producer side. Some motherfuckers didn't want to be a producer. They ended up being on the motherfucking uh, oh, A&R oh, oh, yeah. yeah. fucking doing shit in the studio. Yeah. Like... Niggas just have a connection with rappers and they do their thing from another standpoint. Mm -hmm. So I don't really, the music game, that's for fucking people on the outside looking in from my perspective. That's all I'm saying. Like, Shit, if that's Rick me a song, I'm going to sing that bitch too. That's what I'm saying. I feel you. So I feel why you would do day, it. But. At the end of the day, I understand what you're saying from a music head perspective, but we talking from black men. Trying to make it off the goddamn street and have a constant.
flow of money coming yeah. in off of something. Yeah, I feel you. Other than fucking Street doing shit. You feel me? Yeah, like, I feel you on that. That's what I'm saying. Like, if a nigga don't take that, you a fucking dumbass motherfucker. Oh, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. That's pride. Don't, yeah. don't stay, yeah, pride. don't be around me with no, don't get it twisted. <laughs> don't, don't, get, don't get it twisted. Yeah, man, I'm about to come up still. No, no, you're not, nigga. Like, <laughs> you missed your opportunity. And, and you might still be ready to come up, though. But I'm just saying, though, like, that's not a smart move if that's what you are in it for, the money. But if you are in it to be a true MC, that's you. I can't take nothing away from that. But at, at this point, I'm never, I never been at, I never been a true MC. Cause I never gave a fuck about music until another nigga told me I can rap. Okay. You feel me? Like, That's so, how you started. So with the top three lyrically thing, are we conceding that you're not saying lyrically, you're just saying top three that did it in Richmond. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, man, I'm top three, bro. When it comes to fucking making a project out this bitch, nigga, mine's gonna be top three. Oh. I don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. Shit, I say that shit. I mean that shit. Niggas get on songs with me. I crush that shit. Name a motherfucking nigga that just got on the song and blew me out. Every song I get on, boy, that, that I done linked up with niggas, that shit getting played from fucking eight, nine years ago, nigga. Because I make um, timeless music. Ross didn't, even, Ross didn't even get him on his own shit. Like, come on, bro. I'd have to listen to it. I listen to it a lot. No, hold on. Ross, I, I Ross, think ain't, I Ross ain't get him on that joint. I don't get Ross on okay. it. Man, I got shit with Gotti. I got shit with Pusha T. I got shit with everybody, dog. Like, ain't you got no shit niggas. with Pusha T that's out? Yeah. Nice. Like, that's what's up. I'm just saying, y'all like. Should do, y'all should do a tape, man. Or something like, like that. Like, at the end of the day, bro, it's just like, I'm not a person that do with a lot of niggas get mad at a nigga for doing. And that just keep on, yeah, I do this. I put this in the nigga face. But, but when I speak on my abilities and what God put me here to do, Niggas have a problem with that. Yeah. But, but, I don't have a problem with people voicing their opinions because people that, that's, I don't, that's think, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. You responded to a lot of people, man. No, listen, 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 listen. And if you look at what, what I say to them, Everything that I'm saying is the truth. I'm not saying it's not, but I'm talking about. You, but this, every time I speak, I speak to these motherfuckers. They y'all just speaking opinions. This is what I uh, this and I do a bunch of shit to just aggravate motherfuckers, <laughs> dog, because that's what they want. That's what I do too. Yeah. Yeah. You feel I me? Agree. Like I'm. I, I told you this shit is entertainment for me, bro. I love this shit. Okay. You feel me? It's a difference between a nigga who just say this and go but sit up in the fucking high chair. And, 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 and act like he's so rich he ain't responding back to people. But, Dog, that ain't me, bro. But I'm gonna fuck no, 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 but what I think if he didn't I, respond, they'd be saying, oh, he's too he good responded to, respond. to a lot more people than he I think. I, 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 I like, get it. I get it. Hold on. But this is how I would have handled this shit. shit. I would have went to my own platform and brought all that attention to me. And then that, and, and then that would have, like, yo, fam, I'm listening out. This, this. This is why we actually want to bring you up here. Because we want you to be able to, like... Get your shit off and say like, yo, because sometimes it makes it feel like you're defending yourself and you have nothing to defend. Right. You, what you're, if your name is solid, your name is solid and you don't have to. But at some point, it's okay to address the people and be like, hey, yo, I've done this, this and this. Put some fucking respect on my Basically head. saying like, saying. it's different when you're saying it yourself and then Bruh, somebody asking you. Yeah. It, you know what the funny thing is? People just think they can say whatever the fuck they want to say Facts. out of their mouth. Facts. And then when a nigga say something yeah, back, wrong. I'm fucking, oh, you so wrong. I'm, yeah. bro, I'm a fucking regular person just like y'all motherfuckers is, dog. <laughs> like, you say something, bro, I ain't even mad at you, bro. I just fucking respond yeah. in the correct form like I supposed to respond. Respond. I'm from Biden Avenue, bro. I've been arguing with niggas my whole fucking <laughs> life. I argue with niggas every day. I every argue with day. my homeboys. Uh -huh. I argue with every... I argue with a motherfucker. If I get out... If I have a problem with a motherfucker on the street, I don't go get my homeboys to go be keyboard warriors for me, dog. <laughs> yeah. I handle my shit, dog. Yeah. I stand up like a fucking man. And people have a problem with that because... These motherfuckers got this shit where they start shit and they say shit and they go hide in the closet somewhere and let everybody else fight about that shit. I ain't that type of guy, dog, because I say what the fuck I mean, well, dog. Well, well, I don't like, think that you started the conversation because I know Blake uh, was a big part of like having it. Like, I don't even know who is Blake. <laughs> um, 
He's he's one of the dudes oh, that, that clown DM, ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, DM'd you. So that's where I originally saw he's it from. He's a clown. Like, like, but it spread like wildfire. Like but that, I though. know, like, that's what it's supposed to do. Clowns do clown shit. Peons peon up. Do you, do you, so, <laughs> peon. He's like, these so, niggas look for other motherfuckers going through the same hurting for rap career that they done had and they, they get together and they make their own little community. Like, <laughs> of hurt rappers. Yo, I gotta pee, yo. Y'all go ahead, yo. <laughs> these niggas pee on and up, man. These niggas, hey, bro, you don't like him? I don't like him either. Look, we gonna get together. They, hey, man, they, what uh, the fuck? That shit is whack. That shit is that whack. That shit is whack, weird, dog. But, Cause but, at the end of the day, y'all don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Like, y'all niggas that gave me thousands of dollars in a couple days by motherfuckers checking my music out. Like, yeah. So, so you don't you don't think that was a smart move for him because what he didn't have something to follow up with it? It ain't it ain't no smart move for him. I mean, it was it was a smart move for him because you know why? At the end of the day, he did something. His page got jumping way more than I agree. With his music no, no, could I didn't. ever take him. I don't I don't know about that. I think Blake is actually somewhat talented, but I do agree that at this point, that is the biggest thing that's happened to his career. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I told him that. But, but he I should. Mean, he, he, I would if I was him before I. Had but it him. ain't nothing he can do other than what he just did because he's not that good. To okay. Do. So you are saying he, even if he did follow up with something? Yeah, like that, that shit okay. wouldn't matter, okay. dog. Right. It don't even matter if he was that good because if he was already somebody, he'd be somebody. That's all I'm saying. He's not no nigga that's goddamn 18, 19 years old. He's okay, 31 gotcha, years gotcha, old. Gotcha. You done had your shot in life, my dog. If you ain't shot that bitch in. Did shit by now. I ain't even talking about motherfucking make it. I'm talking about make a name. Yeah. If you ain't made a name in this city, by that time, nigga, you ain't going to... What name you plan on making in your neighborhood? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, that's all I I'm agree. trying to say. Like, I'm not trying to damn no fucking bad because you can make it at any age. I'm but, not trying to... I, I do I'm just trying this. to say, how the fuck can you have some say-so in a nigga career when yours never even got started, my nigga? Like, okay. Okay. you can't speak on nothing. That's true. When, what song do anybody know you for? You can speak on my song. What song do a nigga know you for? Nothing. People know you as the dude that, that was talking, that, that, that started the conversation and Rum responded to you. That was the biggest shit that ever happened to you. I, I agree with that. Out part. your whole rapping life. I agree with that part. Uh, I do. Like, still I, going in? Well, no, yeah. I, I told him I think it would it would have been smart for Blake to drop the song. Drop a song. Drop a song. Yeah, like oh, yeah. drop, like grow. But it wouldn't have did nothing though. It would have just been I, temporary. I, I'm just saying. Attention. Either way, it would have still been smart. You know, if, 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 first, if there was a chance for him to get mass attention, it was well, in well, that, hold on, in that hold on. time. But this is the thing though. We got to acknowledge. He would have dropped it. He would have dropped the song. Wouldn't nobody would have said nothing but the 32 people that was on his motherfucking shit. Damn. That shit got blown up because I said something back that's, to that's him. That's what it was. Well, no, it, it got blown up too because th when you said something back to him, it made other people feel insecure. Yeah, and that's it, what I'm saying. Had a, had a you got a community of motherfuckers <laughs> out here that didn't make it as far as they planned well, on well, making it. So, what do so you they mean? blame other motherfuckers for their heartache and say hurtful things that they think that's hurting me. Like, bitch, yeah. nigga. I'm on the radio right now, dog. Something you ain't never did. So what do you what do you uh what do you think about like when artillery challenges you to you to a battle and shit like that? What the fuck am I challenging? <laughs> this nigga just asked me to get on a fucking song. What the fuck am I challenge? Ain't yeah. nothing to challenge. <laughs> what the fuck you been begging me for three years to get on a fucking song? It ain't no challenge, nigga. Challenge yourself to get the money straight to pay me to get on the song. Okay. Cause at the end of the day, bro, it won't no problems until I said a price, nigga. Mm. It won't no problem. Like you was all up in my face. Hey, bro, we yeah, we can't wait. We get hey, hey, We need to get it in, bro. What the fuck you want to work for? Work with me for if I'm so trash? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I ain't never no tried sense. to work with no nigga that was trash. Exactly. I agree. I agree. Yo, my manager said reach out. My manager said. That's a lie, bro. You've been reaching out to me every time you see me. Zulu can tell you. Like, anybody that tell you, bro. I, I was like, who is this dude, nigga, walking around with the goddamn Jesus suit on? Like, <laughs> I don't know this nigga. Like, I don't know, bro. I never disrespected him. Never did any of that shit. It was disrespectful for, for me to say a price to him. Mm. And if he go take that for disrespect, he go forever take it for disrespect. Because at the end of the day... 
me going against you, you still got your song ag- song about me. Fuck nah, nigga. Uh, you feel like everybody should be paid, right? Yeah, and, right. and at the end of the, especially if you so, come so, in so there as a nigga for years. Two, th- two things. <laughs> yeah. Two things. And, 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 and I think once you reach your le- level and status on both ends, you're willing to pay people. You're just asking for a price. Like, yo, I got it or I don't got it. People mm-hmm. won't respect that. Like, yo, if he, if you say a price, what is your price for futures, by the way? You, if you, you want to tell people. Oh, okay, I mean, I, I, don't love I, mean, I need $1,000 for a verse. That's it. All right, Keep cool. it G. All right, cool. So... I um, can offend some of y'all. As somebody who does music right. seriously, I don't. I work with rappers though. I ain't no fuck nigga. Yeah, I yeah, work yeah. with niggas. But I always Shit. ask a rapper like, "Yo, if I want him on the track, like, yo, how much is a is a verse? That like, ain't need no money. These niggas. Yeah, I, I, I bought. I, I bought, trap it or not. Trap all night. Trap all day. <laughs> trap all night. Trap all day. Fast. How much you want, child? Uh, give me this. Oh hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> it's five niggas on the song. Like, <laughs> They all trapped. <laughs> like, come on, bro. I ain't, I ain't got nothing bad to say about nobody, but when a nigga get in the same position, you gonna feel exactly what the fuck well, I'm talking why, about. Why did you go back and forth with trauma, though, but you won't go back and forth with artillery? Because at yeah, the I end of the day, I know, bro. I don't know that dude. Dude is just a fan. Okay, I see. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Yeah. You, I, I, knew, I mean, I knew you knew trauma, but... Trauma made like nine songs about me. Yeah, I remember. You feel me? Like, at the end of the day... All that shit, all of it, the same I like shit. I talked about Joe Skeeter already. All of the I'm same shit. shit. I, all I, of I saw the joint you did in front of the tires. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. shit was hard. That was the trauma joint, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, but Joe Skeeter shit was funny. It's all, it's all love, bro. Like me personally, bro. I don't have hate for no fucking human being on earth, cause at the end of the day, that ain't even my job, bro. Yeah. I, I, I'm the one who always on the defensive side. Okay. I'm always on the defense. So I, I, I saw that too with Joe Skeet. Like, do you feel like um, that was, because that was something you were tight with, right? Man, that nigga's a fucking bum. Okay. Like, I mean, I ain't even, it's, it's just like this, man. I, I'm not trying to like, I'm like, these are important things. Questions that, that people want. Like, yeah, yeah, people want. Bro, I don't, I, if you don't Joe, feel like Joe was, bad, Joe was, you know Joe was a, Joe was a friend back in the day. Yeah, I mean, we was So what cool. started the beef with y'all? Started the beef is when I started doing my thing. Like, gotcha. gotcha. That hey, look, I'm from a city where being successful is disrespectful. Yeah. Like, okay. You feel me? Like, and, 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 and one thing about it, like niggas talking all that shit. Yeah, you you take your dog with you. What the fuck did he ever give up to get down? That I knew that nigga from a phase in my life. I knew a bunch of niggas from a phase of my life, yeah. dog. No, no, I started no, no, rapping is, with a bunch of motherfuckers, this is important. dog. I had a, I had a, I had a meeting. Like, I had a meeting with my lawyer, and they said, "Yo, before you give anybody equity in anything, you think about like, yo, how much capital uh, risk did they take? Like, how much money did they put into this? No. And then you, and then you ask, how much sweat equity did they put in? And that's like, how much work, how much hands-on shit, how much support, how much have they, Time. yeah, it, energy they put into you, you know what I'm saying? And your company. And then that's what you debase, because it's easy to say, hey, yo, I'll give you 25%, you're my homeboy. But if I'm giving you 25%, you not giving nobody no motherfucking money for what? No, what, what I'm fuck? saying is that, like, that's what my homeboy. <laughs> You my homeboy. What am I giving you money for? Exactly. Like, exactly. What the fuck is that guy doing? You gotta put in the like, work like, to earn, earn the. Make bro, it, make you put up money, you get money back, nigga. Invest. Ain't no, yeah. you ain't make no beats for me, nigga. Mm-hmm. Okay. I ain't so, blow so off no goddamn song off. Of, he made my beat. Yeah. So you, you, you niggas trying to recharge, charge me, man. Yeah. Fuck that. Hell no. What the fuck. First and foremost, nigga said some dumb ass shit. Damn, nigga ain't take me on tour with him and Khaled. What the fuck? How the fuck I'm gonna take you on tour with another nigga? <laughs> you make beats. <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, this yeah. This the yeah. shit that I be talking about. Like, this is little peon shit that, that's way down here. But you're why? But that's what but I'm saying. But when you way down there. But that's what I'm saying, Rom. You're, you're, that's what I was saying originally. What's your to respond though. But you don't have to. He should be able to, because a lot of people say, No, like, yeah, yeah, but yo, bro, it's like, yo, I should be able to do whatever I want to do. Hold on, I say you go, hold on, I say you go back and forth too, so don't act like you got nah. I, you I, go back and forth too. You know what I'm saying? Anybody will go back and forth when they when they when they character being assassinated and people talking shit that they don't know about, you can man, go back and forth. Nah, bro, man. bro. That's I do not go funny, back man. and back and forth with people who say anything about my music. Now we're talking politics or debating something. Yeah, we're not. I'm, not, I'm talking about like, bro. There was a a, a a a direct insult about him 
and where he stands by multiple people, and he responded to all of them. I'm saying, to bro, all of them. God damn. I'm what I'm saying. Man, are, are you sure? You responded to a posters, bro. Uh, he responded to a lot of them. About Either way, niggas said a lot of them. But what I, what I, all of them. God damn. <laughs> He responded to a lot of them. Like I be on goddamn line all night, bro. I don't even know how to use that. I don't even know nothing. I created a Facebook to see what niggas were saying about me. Oh, okay. That's not crazy. All right. So he responds to a lot of them, and I'm saying, bro. Notice when he came to Facebook, all that talking got quiet. I'm saying, bro. He didn't. If he didn't even. If he didn't respond to him and set up a situation like this where he could just like, yo, hell no, that shit don't even. That shit don't make no difference because you know why? Then you kind of did this shit. Uh huh. Okay. That shit don't matter, bro. When you understand that snakes gonna be snakes, they gonna be snakes, bro. You can't turn no snake into no monkey. You can't make no snake with no monkey, bro. <laughs> you can't. As much as you wanna change yo, that motherfucker, can, yo, you can't. I was gonna name this. Uh, episode uh, top three. I might name it snakes right. and monkeys, yo. Like that right. is For too real, funny, bro. You yo. can't. You can't. You can't nah, for, just cause for the shit reasons, the way the you want it to okay. be, it ain't gonna be like that. Now <laughs> understand that. Somebody gonna like, find offense to that shit. Yeah. At, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, all I'm trying to tell you, dog, long as you doing your shit, bro, it's right. always gonna be motherfuckers talking shit. You said the last episode, like you gonna have, you say it's always gonna be more people that ain't, gonna, ain't personally yeah, yeah, yeah. did shit to nobody. I ain't personally yeah. said nothing to nobody, but a nigga's gonna take it personal. Okay. Just for me saying something. Yeah. Defending yourself, or say say it. Nigga, I can come up and be like, boy, I got these, nigga, these the hottest shoes out right now. Oh, man, them is not the hottest shoes out. <laughs> man, I'm going to tell you, you don't even fuck with the Yeezys. You ain't got no Yeezys. I, Yeezy I never said you with no Yeezys. <laughs> yo, you don't know nothing about shoes. Your yeah. drip suck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bruh, it's going to yeah. be a nigga that, yeah. that, 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 that got on the dirt ass t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> with three followers, no <laughs> hoes. None of that shit. Like, uh, that's what I'm saying. This is the times that we live in where we give people more, we give people with opinions too much motherfucking attention, dog. Yeah. And like, that's, what, that's what I'm saying to you, though. No, yeah, no, but listen, too much attention, but listen, bro. The, the, the thing about that shit, it won't even about that. I didn't say, I, I'm saying this. My whole thing was, I turned opinions into facts. That's my whole thing. And some relevance. Like, up, yeah. and, and I, you, I do think it worked people, out for you. People, people asking questions. And I have a different opinion I on, on you them. now because I know more about you too. People, people ask questions. I answered them, bro. Like um, niggas, niggas was just talking. It, it just be tripping me out how people just be saying anything, and then when you say something, it's just like wow. <laughs> so is it um is there is there a time where you see yourself not rapping anymore? I mean, shit. I guess when it's over. Like, I don't know. Like, so you don't have like a, a certain deadline set? Like, yo, this is the time that it's gonna be over for me? No? Alright. As long as that shit still sounds good. And you still having fun doing it? it? Yeah, I yeah. don't have fun doing this shit. I don't care about this shit. Oh, sure. But if you're getting the bread, though, the like, bag is. Yeah, bad. I mean, it's just it's not even about the fun. If this shit don't sound good no more, then it ain't motherfucking. So, I ain't making it. No I got a question. Um, How do you. Alright, so when you come up with. You got, like, like we say, every year you come up with something that can be played in the club. What's your inspiration for the club records? Like, how do you come up with them jumps? Is it the beat to get you going, or like you, man, the energy you be, what you be doing around the time so you come up with them shits, man? I don't even know, bro. I can't even really explain it to you, dog. I just think I'm. Just you come blessed. up with every one every year, though. I'm just blessed. Dude. <laughs> I'm blessed by God. Do you do you have to write it, or, or are you like? Because well, so when I'm writing it, you do. Yeah. No, all right. So what I mean is like when you're hearing the beat, you have to sit down and write it out, or are you more of like a I'm a freestyle till I get it right type. Person? No, I don't do none of this. Shit. Okay, well, how, how's your process? Rap. You write, I write it. A rap. All right, cool. The old club, man. All right. Fall at then, and then I drop that shit. Yeah. You feel when me? you dropping that coochie, uh, coochie keys joint, yeah. I'm not gonna shit. lie, I gotta hear that shit. That shit sounded fire. Shit, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't even. I might put Got that pressure. bitch on the goddamn on on the next mixtape. Okay. Right. Oh, what's the so what is the next mixtape? Is it top three or something? Shit, yeah, top, top three. Top oh, three. so you're naming the project top three? Yeah. That's actually hilarious. And I, I'm yo, the more I've learned about you, bro, I'm gonna be honest. I had a different opinion about you. Um, I still think that um, even, my campaign been the same. Yeah. No, no. I, I, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm cool with learning. Like, I, I, the, the, the best thing in life is to learn. So, like, I'm cool with this. Um, I think that, um, 
I still don't, I, I don't know about top three when you got like Missy Elliott pushy. Hell pushy, no, pushy, bro. Hey, hey listen, bro. Listen, we talking active rappers. We not talking no, no legends. Super legends. Legends, yeah. legends, legends, bro. So, so all right, so, so hold on, hold on. But before you Who go, what's top three? All right, well, all right, cool. I already. Do you, how do you feel about Skills having his own day? How do you feel about Nicholas That's F? Wonderful. Um, doing, um, you know, doing really good. And also doing songs with um or doing like projects with like Ugly Main and stuff like right. that. These are like underground legends. Nick Nick is like my favorite rapper. Like, bro, I told you. Now you I gotta listen to him. I didn't say that. I just ain't listen to him. In the end, look, I was so in, in, in that I even it, so in that even it be like I don't listen to a bunch of fucking Nick shit. Yeah. Like Nick is my favorite rapper as a person, as a as as the shit that I did heard. Yeah. His fucking. His his demeanor, his swag, mm, yeah. his I don't give a fuckness. You so feel you did me? Play, like, I did. What, what happened when you played it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel me? Like yeah. Nick, Nick, Nick is authentic. You feel me? I agree. Like, that's I that's agree. that's what that's what he stands for. That's his brand, dog. Mm -hmm. And like I said, bro, I da, I da, He's been a big inspiration for how we, you know, how man, we. Man, since moved, fucking yeah. way back in when he was on doing the freestyle yeah. battles, man. Yeah. I, I always been behind, bro. I just never knew that I was going to be able to clash up and it's going to be my homeboy. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Like, so, <laughs> what about so, um, what about Skills? How do you feel about him having a... Yeah, that's great, though. That's do you feel... Great. Like, honestly, do you feel like you deserve your own day? Do you feel like any Man, type of jealousy no. or type of, like... Uh, it, when it get there, it get the there. It, when it get there, mm -hmm. hell no. Resentment. Fuck no, nah. you you know why? why is that? I grew up listening to skills. That's gotcha. who I grew up looking up to. Okay. I grew up looking up to these niggas. Who do you bro? feel had the most more, more accomplishments accomplishments between you and skills though? Like I we had this conversation. I feel like skills had skills if I'm arguing nominated. I'm debating yeah. if I'm debating a nigga, they're gonna tell me all I know skills for is the end of the year rap. I'm not saying I believe that. I'm just saying that's what they gonna say. I can name songs of rhymes. Yeah, yeah, but you, you, know you this is where you gotta go back to what he was saying before, is like facts. Like yo, skills has Facts to back the fact that, like, yo, he's a debatable conversation for, like, he a household name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back, back. To, to, to some people. No, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I agree. Mean, I agree. Especially all, all, all I'm saying is, like, yo, when you, when he sees this and he does see that he he's has a, accomplishments, I'm a, does he feel like I'm going to tell you debate? like this. I'm going to tell oh, you like this. Skills, then he has a more of an American name than I do. Like that's yeah, red, if somebody's putting like Red Rum up there on like yeah, a, like a people, Red Rum day, people know him. Look great. Nah, but not even to say that. What do you know skills? But it's just like I'm a I'm a I'm a street rapper. You feel me? Yeah. So that's a whole different thing. I, I'm gonna be the last one to get anything. Mm -hmm. So you think? So you think there's more of a chance for somebody like Nick to even be have oh, a yeah. day and shit yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I, got you. I mean, you, you gotta you, understand, you, dog, like. That's why it's not you fair. you not gonna put me on. They not gonna spray paint me on the walls. None of that shit. But I I, 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 I swear shit. when all right being dead serious, I got into some heat about this. Uh, Fly Anakin from Mutant Academy. Uh, he got a mural right after Michael Millions got a mural. Um, um yeah okay that's part of the conversation. But Fly Anakin's a like he's dope as fuck. Like he really is. So is Michael Millions. They've been on. All the big blogs, they're very it's like they're living off of now. Once but they're yeah, that's crazy. But because in their lane, that's they're, what, they're but that's going to talk to you about about right. the, but, uh, all right. demographics. All right, so I mean, did a song with Mike Mills. So uh, yeah, lane. see, Anakin I got got, got a mural, and I said he didn't deserve it at that. I don't time. even know who oh. that is. Okay, he he's he's like one of the younger kids that's under Mike and them. So that's cool though. I mean, a mural? hey, look, dog, a mural. They painted a mural on the wall. Right beside Michael hey, Williams. Or good, no, I think it might be beside a blips. But so but, but, I'ma just explain. But it to I said you, that you, like, Mad Skills, yeah. DJ Lonnie B. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Look, I say Lil Nicky too, but then she don't rap no more, but still. Yeah, I, but I feel I said them I said there was two other people I said deserve that mural before Fly Anakin. And I, people killed me for this opinion. But I really feel like yo, Fly Anakin is is like where he is now and where he'll be. Will deserve a mural. So Roddy Rod don't deserve a mural. No, you that's who. That was one of my names. Yo, yeah. Roddy Rod to me still has. I still think that's the biggest song that might have come out of Richmond, bro. That song is. Mm. That song is. Look universal. at there where the truck is at. That's that's up there, but Ronnie bro, there is, he he has. I mean, he has more views on that video than we have. Might have streams in our whole career. I gotta look at that. I ain't never know. But look, listen. 
I ain't taking that away from uh, Roddy. And, Roddy. I, and, yeah, me neither. Me neither. And I'm not trying to take away from you. Just because you say somebody, hey, yo, I think this person's one and two and you're three or four, it's not saying, but like, yo, you're trash. Nah, 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 yeah. I'm going to be real with you, dog. That song ain't bigger than Look at It. It's one song too. I'm going to ch- I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ch- hey, I'll you check. I'll check You can talk about YouTube numbers. We talking about in the streets. We talking about like yeah, niggas, bro, like motherfucking really? niggas, moms and shit know what the fuck going on, like grandmas, moms, all that shit. Maybe not like, grandmas. That is and moms. a good debate. Look at them like, versus uh, what Twitter Twitter Twitter. Twitter. but yeah. but I would it ain't it ain't even no debate though, cause both of them great songs, and I ain't Facts. even trying to Facts. take. We Facts. up here debating about which one is the yeah. This is this is our rap, shit. like our rap geek shit. shit. Like we're That's like, this yeah. shit right yeah, there. Exactly. Yeah, like shout out to Jay Ryder Rod mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Like you feel me? And Quan B who made that beat. But oh like, yeah, yeah, I remember that. He was doing he was doing he was on he did a couple big hits around that time. But like um, shit, nigga. What do you I feel about it. like somebody like Young Land? Young Land, yeah, that's my dog. Yeah. Do y'all have any music together? Mm-hmm. You feel like y'all should do something together? Yeah, when that time comes, it's gonna come. Okay. Ain't nothing I, I mean, look, bro, I'm I'm it's it's different with me, man. Like I it ain't even I, I just sometimes with especially with the music, like Bro, I'm a different ass nigga when it comes to recording and all that type of shit, bro. Okay. I don't, I don't sit in the studio. I don't do none of that shit. I don't go to the studio. I don't do none. Yeah, of Yeah, we that have shit, a, I, we have our own studio too. It's not. I, I like to have my own shit and being yeah, controlled like, bro. I shit. just, yeah. I might make like with the uh, the song over there fight. Mm-hmm. I probably ain't made a song since the since that for real, like. Did you know that was gonna be a hit when you made it? Like you knew, like oh yeah, that's about to be the next yeah, one that's yeah. popping. Cause you know why? It's funny, and anything with some fucking humor in it, yeah. that shit always gonna win. Like great look at there, I hated that song. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> like that was the worst song that blew for me. But at the end of the day, people it liked was, it. Yeah, but no, they didn't though. You gotta understand that shit was a fad right quick. Like it, it was to the point where. Want nothing else going on, so I took advantage of the situation. Smart idea. Smart you feel idea. me? Yeah. That's actually so, like, all right, look, I can tell you like this. When I first started off with Look at there, this is how I can tell you it, it ain't no, it won't like that. It took me a year and a half for people to start singing. Bro. I used to pass that's that shit out. That's nothing wrong with that, though. I know, but hell no. Nah. Yeah, it is. Listen, motherfuckers used to throw that shit out the window. Like, Man, that shit is ass. Oh, wow. That shit is trash. Like, Damn. Dog, that's how did you, how did you feel when that happened? Bro, I was like, bro, this ain't even me. I I don't <laughs> like this song. Like, I'm like, I feel y'all. Like, <laughs> fuck this shit. That's I don't like this shit. Bro. That's one of your no bullshit. Crazy. Like, he said, this ain't like, even me. Like, but look though, this the funny thing about it. All right, great look at there blew up in in prison before I even got to the streets. Yeah, you feel me? Like, and not even saying it, it wasn't even no beat with that shit. I made the song just playing around with my bonky. That's how the song got made. A old ass dude used to sleep up under me and shit. He beatbox. No, he hey. used to look at people male and shit. <laughs> and he used to look at your girl and shit. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just used to walk around every morning like, yeah, look at this, look at this, <laughs> just playing and shit. Yeah. And then I just started. I made a song to that shit. Then next day, you know, I used to be walking down in the yard. Niggas used to be calling me over that bitch, giving me granola bars and everything to sing that shit. Like, That's fucking hard. Like, bro, sing that shit, bro. The gods and all that shit. Like, bro, That's crazy. Like, I want to hear, sing, look at hell. So I came home, got to beat people. Like, man, that shit whack as a bitch. Like, man, I don't like that shit. They was like, man, look, man. We not switching songs, bro. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I was like, man, I got this song. They're like, man, fuck all that street shit. That shit come and go. You'll never be known for nobody. Bro, I fuck with you because you got that club shit, dog. Man. As long as you got that club shit, you can go to you 70 years old, bro. Get the like, royalties, yeah. I was like, man, fuck it. I took their word. This I was fucking with uh, Buck from Atlanta. Okay. Uh, this was when QC started up. Oh, shit, okay. C.O.P. Mm-hmm. Like shit, yeah, I know. Nigga, his you mom, you know all that. them. That's my people's, like my family. Like, so I stayed with them like for a year and a half. Like, why you trying to do rap shit? 
Nah, I was doing. That's who blew up. Look at her. Got you. Okay, so so did you? Do you feel like you could rekindle that relationship now? No, I, it ain't no relationship to kindle. <laughs> no, you're still there, type, just, right? You talking just... about with P? Yeah, with P. Yeah, P, my nigga, but I just don't. I ain't. It ain't even about that. I didn't. I don't reach out to people like, yo, bro, what's good? I'm, you know, I ain't saying with nobody. No, I don't do shit like that. And well, at I, the end of the day, no, cause it ain't even about that. Cause don't nobody fuck with you until you got the product. That's just like you. People know you sell drugs and you just like, yo, bro, I'm, I just came home, bro. I'm looking for a plug. You look, you sound like every fucking matter out here. If you come to, yo, bro, hey, bro, I just came home, bro. Got about that situation, my nigga. I got to plug myself. I can plug you in too, bro. I just need some of your money to go in with the, you feel me? Now that sound good. You feel me? Other than somebody just, yo, bro, pick me on the team, bro. Yeah, I got you. you. Know, I know your mama, my nigga. We family. Yeah. We, nigga, I agree. Man. Like, that shit is whack. I'm and the same me, way. Me, personally, I don't want to be with it. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I understand the rap game, man. Like, you feel me? Like, it's to the point where anybody who got a big name right now, only good deals you going to get is why a motherfucker ain't got no name. Um, do you, um, damn, what was I about to say? So you you don't feel like you're you you're outdated at all? Hell no. Nah. Okay. You, if I was outdated, it motherfuckers wouldn't even approve the shit that I do now. So if that was the case, if I was outdated, dog, why the fuck my song? I got about the biggest song out here on the radio. I, I think your voice too helps out a lot too. You got a distinct voice. And not even that, bro. Hey, I'm a fresh new fucking nigga in Miami. <laughs> right. I go to Miami, motherfucker, like, oh that boy right there, he'll blow your ass out on that mic. Oh yeah, that boy right there. Oh, he's serious. Everybody trying to work with me because they know, nigga, I got, I got, I got land to trade. Got you. So you you have value. I have value, okay. dog. I go down that bitch. Niggas know they go on my Instagram and shit. Oh shit, dog, bumper. Mm -hmm. People fucking with him. Shit, I'm getting. I started off when I when I was fucking with Khaled, dog. I was getting 100, 200 likes. Like mm -hmm. fucking with Khaled, bro. Mm -hmm. I stopped fucking with Khaled. Start doing my own thing. I'm getting thousands of likes, two, three, four hundred comments under my shit. Like, so you better off fucking like doing everything yourself versus fucking yeah, with Yeah, because at the end of the day, I ain't never had shit fucking with them. I never had nothing. And you never needed them where to get to where you got no, to get. They with. fuck with me because they knew I was independent. Yeah. That's the only reason why they really fuck with me because they knew I had a buzz already. Why would you go fuck with a nigga you got to bring up from the dirt? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it's just that work. me, me and bro. Well, that's part of what the rock game used to be, though, was developing artists. Yeah, but they ain't even yeah, with that shit no doing more. That shit. The, yeah. the main thing right now is to get you to be so fucking hungry that you sign the dumbest deal that you ever fucking signed. Mm -hmm. Or you make it enough I, money that they can also make money off of you. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you don't, like Meg, you don't comply. Meg no, got a no, good deal. She yeah, Meg, yeah, Meg, yeah. Meg, did you actually? Finish the details on her deal. I read it. She didn't like, and I'm not it's saying it's a good deal, but I'm just saying though, like she she's got. She's bigger than her deal, really. She, she, not she look. I'm gonna just tell you like this. Nobody's who they are without that thing. That's how. All right. That's how I seen it. And I nobody's said, who they. Who I they said. I said she know. and she hasn't completed anything on the deal. So it's just like, bro, you spent bro, all of this money. They said they spent two million plus. I was like, she didn't make that money back. Like she had a whole summer. She had the whole summer. Bro, she. That's what I'm saying. We we know that because she's hot hip hop. She did not break through. She did not get to a certain plateau that other females haven't gotten. Hot to. girl shit. Hot girl summer. All that shit was a thing, man. She started. It, it was, but, it, but, her music, she her, her, but her music. But her music. One one thing I I will say. It all sound the same. That and two. Oh, when yeah, she had concept, the chance yo. to do the hot girl summer soundtrack with Nicki, and she put um. She was trash. Nikki and uh, who else was it? As uh, the Ty uh, Ty Dolla Sign. Trash. She ruined it. Cause that would have been the and moment. It was in the fall time. Yeah, but it, no, it wouldn't have mattered if that song was fire. Even with the names it had on there, bro, it would have fucking blown up. That was just the one song, and that could have taken her. But no, but she doesn't have any timeless songs yet. She got to stop rapping about her pussy and being, you know. She got to stop rapping about her. But she got to stop rap, rap, rap about something now, cause uh, that label got her. <laughs> but she up, can bro. rap. That's not fuck it up. She can't rap though. She just got to rap. But but concert. the whole thing is not about that shit. It's just about getting your money and getting the fuck on. Cause and, and, and getting this slave somebody else. So how was her deal good to you though? How you think her deal was good? I mean, I just told you cause it funded everything to get her to the point she's at now. 
Because and she was and she, she was also older than what that. she said. She said she was but, twenty, but she 20 years old. Know. She was twenty two. She won't know though until they put their bread where right? happened. Facts. I agree. I want you, know, bro. But this is somebody put their bread up. Don't mean that they own you and they can sign to some. Yeah, you're right. Bill. They negotiate a better contract. Get a fucking lawyer to read it. No, I ain't and, even saying all that. that no, I'm but, saying that. But, but the main thing is, dog. The same thing that happened to her is the same thing that happened to me. I just ain't saying this shit. Mm. Because he got a lawyer listen, and he read it, and that's exactly what I just said. But listen, how he got a lawyer, is, the they read thing. it, realized the deal was shit, and did not sign the deal. If it's and the guess same what? Thing. I, and I get it. Motherfuckers told me two hundred and fifty thousand. I was like, whoa, nigga. And look, let me get thing, that. It probably it's wasn't. Thing. You might have been. You might have been further. How was it a good deal? If it's the same thing, he said it was a good deal for her. I'm saying, how's because it because thing? look what because because if you cause, was cause, able to recognize it was because the people who are working with her are working for no, her. No, I'm just saying it's a fucked up deal, but it's it is what it is. Once you sign, make, your make name. it work for you. Make it okay. No, once you sign, your ain't nobody, bro. If it was like, yo, and they had the pistol to me and they made me do this shit, like, nigga was ready to kill me and shit. Yeah, then I understand. <laughs> like, nah, because I was young. Dog, you was over 18. It don't make no difference. We make mistakes in life, Thank dog. You. That's just like saying, so bro, you deal. get caught with some dope. You feel like you don't supposed I to think, go to jail. I think, I think was it was a better deal for nah, her than bro, it was You got to go to jail, my nigga. <laughs> you signed up for this shit. So you there ain't nobody deal. motherfucking pitch your name on there. You signed your name. Like, yeah. Will will sign the same deal make the stat guy. I would. Just, just so y'all know. He said he signed the same deal. Okay. I would. I, I, because, it ain't no bad bro, deal, because, though. No, listen. They put the bread behind you. That's what I'm saying. They put bread. Like, the way that they've worked her situation. The way that she worked, they worked her situation. Situation, she is in a position to win. They didn't work his situation like that, so he that that's why it's a better deal for her. She she signed with the right people, even if it's the same deal. She signed with the right people, and guess what? When you make a when you make that type of money, and for other people, they are more willing to do shit for you. Guaranteed, if it's a real businessman. Say for instance, if it was somebody from Virginia, or Richmond, or something, they would have been able to know my importance or mm, whatever was, what was going on. But for real, you. it was. It was a get over. It's a get over. Cause I mean, but at the end of the day, Canada ain't spend no money on me. So how the fuck can you be looking to get all this shit back? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She, they spent bread on me because of what the fuck I did. Yeah, I got you. It and what I done spent already. And Meg, they spent money on her. They yeah. spent money they on her. her they made her, her make it. the deal, goddamn. I mean, I'm not taking money. What money, money, money did she make? Where did it go? If she ain't get paid, then they she's, get paid. She, no, 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 no. She's cleared up. She's gotten paid. Somebody got got paid. No, 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 no. It's been cleared up that she's been paid. She cleared that up on the breakfast club. She said, "Yeah, I've been paid." So what's she bitching about? She, what she what she wants to do is just rene renegotiate, renegotiate it okay. so that way that she the can get, time, I guess, ahead. more than what she's getting. But the fact is, she hasn't completed one clause. So we agree. It's a, so y'all saying it's a good deal then? I'm saying, yo, for what it's done for, it's good. Okay. Yeah, and I and I think she's only under like a one or two album joint, bro. It's, it's not even most people's first deal. Yeah, bro. Like most people get signed to a five deal or that five album deal. That got to her, man. Maybe yeah, but they're not. They're not holding up in court this time, bro. Because they read all the deal, the details. Man, it, I, I don't feel sorry for. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> I told. I said up. that last no, episode. I, I, I feel, feel sorry, sorry for, for motherfuckers that just out there just trying to get over on people and shit. But at the end of the day, dog, that's not you got to read. Fine print before you sign this shit, bro. Like that's, that's all just, I'm saying. If you did it in two thousand two or whenever, she can do it now, bro. Bro, that's just like you go to court and they tell you, bro, take a plea for six years, and you go say, fuck it, I'm gonna take the plea for six years, and then you get down that bitch and just be like, oh man, fuck that, I was a young nigga, bro. I I would have never signed no shit like that if I knew what I knew now. Like, bro, hell no, nah, bro. You think they gonna get you up out of jail, get you another <laughs> trial to go? It put you back in your mind state that you in now. Hell no. Fuck all that. Yeah, you gotta, you I gotta agree. take your lick and keep it moving. Exactly. You gotta make the best risk, out of a worse deal. Risk reward, though. man. Risk yeah. risk reward. And, and and I was I was in the I was in a situation where I was about to be signed about like five people, so shit. Mm. It won't no winning. Do you smoke weed? Yeah, all that. Do you day. smoke C B D? Hell no. No, C B D, okay. That's cool. That's, um that that shit that shit I don't even know what that shit is. That shit don't get you out though. Yeah, it, it helps, but I, I'll talk to you about that off camera. I just wanted to know. Um, all right, so I, I got like a couple more questions, um, and we can wrap it up. Do you have anything else? Oh, uh, Gary, what's your question? Um, do you do you um, foresee yourself like ever signing anybody else? 
Yeah, the mother, right? Okay. But it, nah, I take that back. Like, kind of like, you know, like, uh, Pusha G, T just started his label, um, Hairwave. Hey, the mother, right? Hairwave. Oh. Or maybe it's Airwave. Air, Airwave. It's, Air, it's, it's, yeah. I said Hairwave because it has an H. I'm high. Yeah. My bad, y'all. It's like, Airwave. I'm just saying, bro. But it's it H E I R. If, if yeah. it's a good deal, dog, then I'm just at the point right now where I'm in it for the money. Okay. I ain't in it for the fucking. Cause I, I I got a I got a track record that can show you what the fuck I could do. Do you shoot your own videos too? Yeah. Like with your own camera, or do you pay somebody? You know, you, you edit them. Yeah. You do all of that. Yeah. That's pretty good, man. That's a that's a one that's a one man show for real. That's how I came up. Shit. Yeah. I moved when I moved to Miami. I ain't no nobody. So. So you had to do it all yourself. Did everything myself. That's crazy. I right. came up. What came kind of computer do you use? Shit, I got the twenty twenty MacBook. Okay. Okay. That shit probably rock, don't yeah. it? Yeah, I got that bitch right there. Yeah, How sorry. long it took you to get the hang of Fruit Loops? Shit. Start making beats. Did you make uh, Over There Fighting? You made that beat? Mm. Oh, okay. I'm about to say. They bless mm. you, though. Whoever made that But I got you. another song, though, that's about to be uh, blowing up called Horsey, though. Okay. And that bitch got them. I made the beat to that bitch. That bitch crazy. Is All it right, more of a feeling that. when you make the beat and you rap to that bitch and you kill it? You be like, yeah, I, I'm on my shit because I'm doing the beat and I'm rapping on that bitch. Yeah, that's I mean, that's side. the only way to do it for me. That's how you this. Cause yeah. I just wanna put that shit out and just re- get, get all of it, yeah. For, for a sure. nigga who don't be like, see you there for the money. That's a lot of like, it's it's hard to be motivated to rap, to make a good song, to make the beat and the engineer and shoot the video. That's a lot for some. No, it is a lot. One, one you're saving money. We all go aspect. crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, yeah, for some people. Yeah, but one you save the money in aspect, in like in retrospect. I mean, but mm-hmm. and then you gotta also, you gotta you, if you want to get something done, you gotta do it yourself. Sometimes, man. Mm-hmm. Like if you want it done right, and like. That's why I'm so hands on with everything I do. Like I my music, music videos, that I ain't direct better them. Better than me, so <laughs> you said what? I was paying motherfuckers that ain't even better than me. Yeah, and like it's crazy because like you don't be niggas just be lazy. That's it. Do you uh do you find uh you run out of like inspiration because you do so much? Like it's just wearing on you? Yeah, no. Nah, I look at my kids every day. Okay, <laughs> that's the inspiration right there. That's a different thing. Oh, shit. Bro. Um, you got any? You got any um, particular sounds that you, like, not chasing, but any type? Do you um, eat butt? Wow. No, you don't eat butt? All right. We had that conversation. Yeah, we had that conversation. Did we? No, 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 no. no. You had it. It was a different conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I, I asked the right question. Yeah. Asking the right question. No, I'm not asking a grown oh. man that question. Okay. I'm not asking. But she was on camera talking about Oh, yeah. I love to get my ass licked. Absolutely. I love oh, when my girl licks my ass. <laughs> I love when my girl licks my ass. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, hell no. Yeah. I'm, I said, I'm not going to ask a grown <laughs> man that. Like, you say, ask him that question. Absolutely I'm saying, not. Like, yeah, <laughs> you, was, man, you was going down that road. You, <laughs> shit. Might as well tell him the rest. We was keeping going in this shit. Dude. So you wouldn't like Gabrielle Union lick your ass? No. Wow. You're lying, what, Rob. What difference would it make? Yo, you're right. Ass, Cause right? she's the one that started the whole conversation. She's the one that started the whole conversation. I don't want my ass licked. But what you eat? Ass? What the fuck? I don't want that shit. So you you wouldn't? I don't want nobody touching my ass. What the fuck? My ass got to do with that shit? Feels <laughs> good. Hey, bro. I'm just letting you know. Hey, yo. Whatever you do in your bedroom is your business. I'm just saying. It came out. Whatever he do in his bedroom is y'all business. <laughs> 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 Next thing you know, it'll be a deal that we're going on. <laughs> nah, hell nah. Nah, hell nah. It starts, it starts nah. with that. Hey, girl, girl, girl be putting her she fingers in your She's going to slide everything in Nah, nah. See, now that's too much. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> but look, he went, look. He, the you first time I asked. You opening the door. Hey, yo, I still have boundaries. I don't like everything. <laughs> Hold on. First time I, I, I like my ass. I do not like anything in my ass. She just threw his legs up. So what happens when she slaps the chicken? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hell no. You can't open that door, bro, because they'll take it far. Because now they want to see how far they can go with this shit. No, stop. No, bitch, you're going to learn to day, I'll punch you in the back of the head, stop playing with me. Nah, man. Um, fuck that. That's a little new. Fuck no. I've been with the same woman for like 11 years. Is that her time on your neck? Yeah. That's oh, that's commitment. That's good. That's yeah. commitment. How do you, how do you do it, bro? Because I've, I've been with a person nine years and I almost lost my mind. Shit, man. I've been with my wife since. I broke her virginity. Like, oh, shit. That's, that's shit, some shit, she, I was with her since she was 19. She, she 30 now. Okay. So, Damn. Man. So y'all really grown up together. Yeah, I kind of yeah, wonder yeah. what it would be like to be with somebody that actually broke their virginity and to be the only dude or, you know what I'm saying, one of the only dudes to be, you know what I'm saying, be with her. How, yeah, yeah. how, how much more bullshit you avoid when it's that type of a Was she jealous like? younger in your career? No. Hell no. That's See, look, bro, that's how I, I'm in this situation that I'm in right now. Like, you feel me? Because like, she held you down so hard? She just always just been there to support me. That's love. Other than, like, never, 
Bruh, when I gotta go somewhere, she don't give a fuck. She know I'm coming back home, so shit, me. I'm going out here to do this for us. I be trying to tell people, yo, it's about trust, man. Like, she's got to have shit. Oh, if you ain't got no trust, you ain't no need to be together, dog. Like, it's the same way, man. My my girl, my wife ain't, she she probably, since we done been together, like, in those years, bro, she probably been to the club, like, two, three times. Yeah. So, she's not really, she's like a homebody. Yeah. Okay. Like, she chill with her family, like. Yeah. Her mom and shit. So who do you think is the best rapper in the game right now? I don't know. Who's your favorite rapper in the game right now besides yourself? I don't really listen. I like Lil Wayne shit, though. I oh, like my Wayne God. Shit. Why you had to say that Yo. shit? Oh, my God. I like, you got the best album out right now. What, what like, album? Funeral? Yeah, I like that. Ah. That's because Rome don't listen to nothing else, man. He's just listening to yeah, him. Man. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 that mama, that mama me. No, no, Wayne's still spitting. Yeah. Wayne's still spitting. Though. I just like people who rap for real. I don't want to hear all that shit. fuck. Oh, so you you don't like Drake? I'm a homeboy. Oh, 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 you mean like Rod Wave and shit all like song, that? Nah, I'm, I'm, that shit cool too, but not every song. You like Lil Baby? Like, like, look, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is with music nowadays, bro. You listen to one song, you heard the whole motherfucker album. Mm. No bullshit. That bitch be one big ass song. That mixtape be one big ass song, man. The baby. That's what he. That's what he said. Like one big song, like with different beats. That sounds just like the last one, but just got different goddamn melody in the back. Um. So there's nobody that sticks out in your mind besides Wayne. Nah, I mean it's some it's some good guys. Man. Who better? Who the better rapper do you push it to or Wayne? What you mean? Pusha T made a living out of rapping about coke consistently. Who the hell else? Like, I'm talking about every song is, like, every exactly song is Exactly why it's cold. not comparable. Ross, did too. Ross got other songs, though, too. He Wayne is, songs, Wayne's though. catalog shits on literally almost What's the every song. Yeah, category. Song, I mean, it's a catalog. But I just, I can't listen to Wayne, like, all fucking day, like. <laughs> is there anybody you can listen to? All Nobody day? can. Besides yourself? Yeah, I like Pimp. Pimp yeah. That's I got Sweet Jones Jr. right here. Yeah. Pimp C. That's my my favorite rapper of all time. Okay. Yeah. I ain't, okay. So. Like, I I, I like so. I like Pimp C, but I couldn't I definitely couldn't listen to him all day. All right, we back. The battery died. What you gonna do? Um. All right. So I got one last question for him, and then we about to get out of here. Uh, Takashi Six Nine got his release date. It's August. Um. Do you think that he's still gonna be able to have a career? Fuck yeah. I mean, snitches support snitches, and everybody in the world ain't fucking criminals, so it don't even matter. Okay. Like, you got uh, a So you small feel like only portion. criminals are responsible for living up to a, a certain code? No. You got a lot of, you got way more wannabes than criminals. Okay. So that's what I look at it as, like, okay. but what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, it's a lot of more people that buy into people more than they buy into music in a fad of how real some post. No, I agree. I agree. His I, I I don't support him anymore. They like him. But yeah, but I will say that motherfucker was entertaining, entertaining bro. And he, he honestly still be on, entertaining. and and, uh, and honestly he made a, he exposed a lot of people. Like he like he That's made cool. a lot of people look like wannabes instead of like who they were portraying. He made he made people that I thought that he wouldn't make, be able to make look like that. He made Casanova yeah. look weak. I'm like, damn, how this yeah. internet dude making him look weak? He out here connecting. Because you got them real niggas in the streets though. Yeah. Like, it, it, yeah. Um, I, I'm 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 torn. I'm thinking he is a possibility he's gonna have a music career. I also think that um, if the streets are any type of real left in there. He'll he'll get he'll get um, touched before he's able to enjoy it. But how though? Like at the end of the day, unless you gonna throw your life away just to fucking take him out and people. Well, that's that. I, I, I do think there's been people. Shot. Zimmerman, Zimmerman would have been out yeah. of here. That's what I'm about to say. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I think it that I like think that, that I think that and then people die every day over some stupid shit. Yeah. That, that's, that's less they, stupid they, than they, they, Zimmerman and that. But you gotta understand though, they motherfucking able to get touched. These people that we They're talking about, touched, yeah. they mm-hmm. ain't just right over in Highland Park, uh, Southside or shit like that. Somewhere that's tangible to actually going out to the mm-hmm. club and you can touch them. 
Man, that man is going everywhere he going with the fucking police with him, dog. Who like, want to touch him? Yeah, they want to All right, like, all right. Actually, I actually have one last question. Um, who, who, who is your inspirations for music, though? You don't have. There was nobody that you said you 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 realized you could rap when other people told you you could rap. See, when I first started rapping, I was trash. Like absolutely Shit, garbage. man, you can ask anybody. Man, I was not nowhere near the best. Rapper when I first started off, yeah. dog. That's that's why I, that's how I met uh Joe. Okay. Like Joe was like supposed to be the the, the rapper nigga. You feel? Cause me? he like, yeah, okay, got you, got you. He, he had this shit, and then the cipher came out and shit, and his shit ain't do. He ain't never get to make it on that bitch. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like. Um, I, I mean, just, hey, yeah, up from happened. after that, like. Yeah. It, so it, so who was your inspirations like? Growing up listening to music. Like, who made you want to make music? Shit. Uh, I got a cousin. My cousin, um, I used to rap with him. My cousin Ronald, he used to make music. But I wasn't, like, the biggest fan of his music or nothing. But he just had... The hustle inspired you. Yeah, he had the the music equipment, and he was my cousin. You feel me? He was older than me, like... Um, You feel me? That goes back to our conversation last week, too. Uh... Do you think it's dis- disrespectful when uh, people are like, yo, I fuck with your grind, oh. and then don't say nothing about your music? Yeah. Because I said as an artist, like, yeah, that's a compliment, I, but, yeah. but it's also Look, like an insult in a way. I'm going to tell you, I don't get mad at nothing. Because you know why? First and foremost, my nigga, none of these people are living the real life, so most of them are going to lie to you when they see you anyway. Okay. Like at the end of the day, motherfuckers that that they got the most hate for you online, them the motherfuckers that love you the most. Cause if I really don't like nobody, I don't even look on their page. I don't deal with them. I don't I agree. do none of that shit. I, agree. I wouldn't have nothing to say about them cause I don't know nothing about them. You feel me? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. or I don't want to know anything about. Yeah, them. that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like yeah. if that shit that trash, dog. Like, bruh, it ain't nothing to speak about. Like. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. That's how I feel. It's like, like a waste of breath. Right. If a nigga go on, keep going on, going on, going on, talking about somebody, oh, he tried, he tried, every time you try, bro, that really lets you know how you feel about yourself, dog. That he's a threat to you. That's not, true. Not, it, ain't, it ain't about a nigga being this or that. It's just that so most you, people you, feel like I'm a threat to their fucking attention. That's it. That's it, bro. It ain't no fucking. That's why I tell. Do you people not think you are time. to some people? What? You yeah. don't think you're a threat to other people's uh, attention? No, cause at the end of the day, I came out with shit. Fucking y'all just get it. We be disco balling. Y'all just get it. Ruin Southside superstar foes on the trap car. Motherfucking uh, goddamn. What's that? Make that booty bounce. Make that booty J-Mac, bounce. Yeah. Make that booty bounce. All that shit. Yep. Everybody was hitting, bro. Yep. I think, never felt intimidated by nobody, bro. I felt like, damn, I just got to get in. Do you, do you think that young man should have been bigger than he is? Yeah, I mean, young man, he he, he got that shit. He spit. Do you, do it ain't, it's, it ain't do even you, about being bigger than what you are. Because, dog, if you put an expiration date on yourself, then you lost already. Okay. Right. I feel That's like... Right. I feel like... Young man is a is a great artist. Like to me, okay. like he got he got a he got a great style. That's why shit. As long as I'm doing my thing, shit. I'm gonna try my best to put the bro on every fucking CD that I got. Cause young man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shit, we got a bang on my CD. Keep the trap alive now. Okay. I said yesterday. Like, you feel me? Like yeah. I I really thought for real. I uh, thought uh, young man was gonna blow at one point. And I'm not saying that he de- hasn't seen levels of success. I'm just saying, like, I thought that there was a, a, a chance that he would be... Uh, somebody was going to pick him up. Yeah, somebody was going to pick him up. Um, he, he was catching a lot of... Uh, and I, I, I do say that is one thing what dope about like? Richmond City. They do get behind artists, bro. Like, they, the city of Richmond, I'm not talking about the Oscars, Henrico, like Chesterfield. Facebook. Gotta, Sometimes on Facebook it look like it, but I just be wanting nah, to see bro, it. Like, nah, like, bro, like, I'm looking at this kid, uh, RVA Kiddo, right now. Mm-hmm. Bro, every day, 20 plus videos of p- different people listening to his shit. And it, like his numbers are going up constantly, and he's constantly putting out music. Where you saw this at? Uh, this, his name is RBA Kiddo. Where you see this at? 
Well, I seen it. I know him in person, but I see. I mean, on on, on Instagram. Instagram. Right. See, Instagram is the best platform to me because it's universal. Mm. There's pictures there. There's Man, like it's the only platform for real because fucking Facebook don't nobody give a fuck about that. That's what I'm saying. And then Twitter when is just too to, random. To it's political random. numbers. Mm-hmm. When it comes to being political, when you talk about a rap deal and all that shit, man, I'm blowing up on Facebook. Don't know label. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you feel me? Like, if you got the biggest, you ain't going to see no artist. So you don't put any money into Facebook? No, nah, for what? You put it all in Instagram? Don't nobody, see, don't no artist be saying follow my Facebook page. Yeah, no. like, no. I don't even promote that. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Nah, you find <laughs> Red Dummy yeah. up, like, Ed yeah. Red Dummy, goddammit. That's yeah, that, I, I don't I, even if I highlight like a like, girl, I'm not even giving her my number, I'm giving her my Instagram. Like, yo, like, follow me on Instagram. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Like, there's no, that's the point of communication. I get to post stories about what I'm doing currently. I get to post yeah. the pictures that make me look the best. Man, show Facebook the most is personal. Yeah. yeah. Facebook is personal, dog. That's so you true. don't use it, you don't use it at all? I mean. A little bit? I just. Yeah, the other day I started up a Facebook. Now I got what they say I can't even get no more friends. Okay, word. Damn, why is that? That quick? Cause you got so many of them. So, oh, for real? Yeah, you, get, you only get five thousand on like Facebook pages. Or oh, Facebook really? accounts. Damn, that's pages. crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, something new every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, crazy. But you ain't who he is, but that quick. In a couple of days. <laughs> Not for real, bro. It, 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 and it's annoying too because yeah. you you accept. Friend requests from people that you probably shouldn't have. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you got to start fil- just, filtering through. Like, all right, I got to get rid of this person. Like, I can yeah, add this I person. Just, yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn, this nigga the police like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> damn, oh, I push except I just yeah. be going through the line. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's Facebook's different. IG, I don't post anything personal, like too personal. On IG, it's more of like a brand thing. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Um, so uh, this is the end of episode four. Thanks for coming, Episode bro. four, uh, we we have our special guests, Red Rum, Red Dummy, um, Switchman. Um, we have myself, I'm OG Illa, this is Hooligan Life, and I'm with Jenya, Leon Hard, and Thrasher TZ, Blue Flame Media. Uh, make sure y'all tune in to... Every episode beforehand, every episode. And get that numbers going up too, man. Okay. My, my latest uh, project that I just dropped like December, I think. So. Oh, and I got a beat tape coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a beat tape coming out too. We're going to have all beats for sale or whatever. Uh, it's coming out soon. Yeah. yeah, you already know. Subscribe. Let's go. Uh, I think I'm about to say something stupid, y'all.